So, so anything after this is going to be on YouTube. Deal with that. Understood. All right. We all ready? Yep. Yes. Yep. The year yes. is 108 PR. The world of Amaranth is nearly destroyed. The vast, far-reaching lands of the various kingdoms and nations are completely irrelevant now, as all of it falls under the purview of the Tyrant Queen, Tiamat, followers. The Cult of Dragons succeeded in freeing the goddess from her bindings in the first layer of hell, and now her throne is the peak of the highest mountain Aurelia, Golden Cascade. Under her watch, the world has turned apocalyptic. Cities lay in ruin as millions of the dead lay defiled and burnt all across the globe. The destruction is truly unknowably terrible. Final conflict between Tiamat's forces and the various nations that banded together to fight her failed is referred to simply as the Day of the Dead Song. For surely no lyric could ever truly capture the brutal misery that the world had tasted then. Not all hope is lost, however. The brilliant minds in the Artifice and Arcanics Company managed to create a safe haven where even the tyrant Tiamat could not reach. Hearth, the orbital city. Magically suspended and hidden from seeking eyes, Hearth floats quietly and secretly over the various lands and oceans below, miles and miles above the surface. Strict population control, hydroponics, and magically enhanced technology has created a sustainable society for several years now. But one fact is inescapable. Your people are starving. Thus, the Retriever program began, and volunteers across Hearth put what training they had to you. Fly aboard specialized airships and collect food and supplies from what ruins they could safely scavenge. An extremely dangerous profession, only the bravest soldiers, mages, and prisoners signed on to the Retrievers, but in all cases, all who return are rewarded with gold, fame, and the gratitude of a civilization on the brink of collapse. So, each of you sits within the crew quarters of the Osiris shuttle, I Sally. The flight to the surface is never longer than a few minutes, but it always feels like an eternity as your pilot searches for a secure location to land and hide the shuttle. Thick, orange clouds, stained with smoke and the humors of blood, fill the sky as your shuttle descends. Looming before you out the windows are the vast stretches of the crystal oceans. They've always been blue, tinged crimson, and what was once a mysterious and pleasant sight for sailors is a reminder that your world bleeds. The safest region to harvest supplies from, historically, has been the island nation of Terracona. The war between devils and demons has bled from the hells to the surface of your world with the escape of Tiamat herself. Yet the simple fact that the nation was isolated from all others by water on all sides has left it, by comparison, the safest choice to land on. That being said, retrievers have been lost on many missions. Terracona has proven dangerous enough as it is. The shuttle is crewed by two individuals who are certainly not be braving the wastes with you all. First is a small automaton named Gizmo, who is a useful tool for gathering heavy, awkward, or simply large loads to be carried onto the shuttle. The other is your pilot, a wisecracking halfling named Corley, who's been on more retrieval missions than most others. As the shuttle descends, he points out, I got word there was sighting of flatland in the Terakai Valley, and y'all know what that means. And he looks at each of you strapped into your seats waiting for a response if you're in on some joke as ready as we'll ever get it's farm <laughs> farmland and where there's farmland there's food that's what I'm counting on so help me spot a good landing zone yeah sure of course I uh, well yeah, he's asking for that so yeah I, I guess I'm unbuckling my, uh, my seatbelt now <laughs> Okay, you stand up. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm giving a look. Okay, do you move about the shuttle? Yeah, I'm just going to look towards the front where he's uh, asking us. Okay, so let me move you here to a shuttle map. 
see. I got it. <clears throat> you are descending into atmosphere from orbit, looking down at Terracona. Uh, the Terakai Valley is stretching out rapidly as the shuttle was dropping in altitude. Uh, why doesn't everybody who wants to give me an investigation check? Uh, skills investigation. Oh, I forgot to turn on um, the dice bot. Oh, me too. Ouch. So, if you click on your token, in the top left you'll see a little heads-up display where you have all your options available, things that you can. Uh, if you click on your, you click on your token and mouse over them, you can mouse over skills, and then you'll see investigation. And is the quick way to roll it from within Foundry. Oh. Um, I did roll on D and D Beyond. Got eleven. Okay. You got a five. Okay. Uh, Arno, you're currently top of the pack with an eight. Ribs rolled a four. Uh, I rolled a twenty-six. Ah. Yeah. I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> Annika, you're looking out the windows and you just have a a good angle. Uh. You see there is, it's more like a basin that's nestled in a microcosm of uh, It looks like a really good spot to land as there is flat land with planes and then there's like a light around. It would be easy to find a place to seal the shuttle. Poorly, that looks like a good spot to land. Hey, good eye on you. Hold on, and you should sit back down, huh? <laughs> right. right. Yeah. Let's sit back down. <laughs> I'll strap myself in. Okay. Strap back down. Uh, that means you don't have to make deck save as the shuttle descends, descends <laughs> into the atmosphere. <laughs> it is turbulent. The shuttle is clearly designed for this, but even so, air is a fickle mistress, and the shuttle is battered about. Those of you with high passive perceptions can actually see the swirling mists of what must be air elementals existing entry shuttle into the emerald sky as as the ship is dropping you hear Corley say now while you're out there keep in mind the cult fuckers could be about in addition to your typical demons and devils they're just as hungry as us but they'll eat you as soon as you look at you maybe anyway get out there get us hidden and if you find something Give me a ring on the old sending box. Which poses the next important question. Which of you is the leader, quote unquote, of this expedition? That is me. Battle amongst yourself. I am the leader. <laughs> the bush has said, uh, claimed the, the role. Has said I'm, I'm just here to keep you guys alive. I Wait. am a grizzled war veteran. I've fought in multiple <laughs> conflicts. And um, I wear the trophies of my fallen enemies on me. These roots, these skulls. Corley like oh. looks over the chair at you and says, "Right." <laughs> Can you? The... All right, oh. navigator. Corley. 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 Cor Corley, not like hair. Corley. Corley. Cor I said Corley. Mm-hmm. Your accent, I'm sure. Uh, so you have in your possession, go ahead and write in your inventory, just custom position, sending box. You sending know box. it is a short-range communication. Okay. Um, I've never made a thing in this thing before. Okay, so in your inventory, if you look all the way at the bottom, there's like an yeah. open block that says other possessions. Uh, there is. It's an inventory. I don't see other possessions. There's like loot at the bottom. It's all the way at the very bottom. Uh, I will. Your stream is still up, so I'll just take a quick gander. Yeah. Uh, no, it on D and D Beyond, not. Oh, sorry, not sorry. Yeah. Found. Okay. Um, manage inventory. Oh, it's scroll at the bottom. all the way to the bottom. There it is. Other possessions. Yeah. Oh, I see. So, go ahead and yeah, create a new line. Just write sending box. Sending box. You're done. All right. All right. So, allow me to show you another idea of 
the shape of the place that you guys are looking at. Hmm. Oh, man. Awesome. Where were we at? So, Green. this... That is the Terakai Valley. Gotcha. Looks like we're in for a bumpy landing. Yes, yeah, so hold on tight. Uh, as the shuttle is coming down, and Corley does set it down with professional skill, it is it is a little rough, but it's as rough as any you could have ever hoped for in this sort of terrain. Um, around around you is dead grass and rock in all directions. Um, what is the passive perception, guys? What's your passive perception skill? My passive perception mm -hmm. is... Uh, What's our 14? 15. F 15 for me. 1, 4. It 14. Is 15. So 15s. Uh, it looks like... This looks like a battlefield. This looks like where you're landing. The terrain is torn up in such a way that fighting has, hap has happened here. Uh... But it has happened a long time ago. Looks as though this battlefield has been thrown over. Uh, weather has been harsh and battered this landscape into basically... And as the High Sally sets down, Corley looks at you all and he says, Right, find some cover and get off my boat. Will do. As you, uh, as you like, look you. it up, you're looking. As you get up, there is Gizmo, who is looking at you. Uh, he's in the storage compartment of the shuttle. You have worked with Orly and Gizmo before. Gizmo is a robotic dog. Um, <laughs> and he looks at you. He says, Orders, do I follow you or neither? Uh, what does Gizmo typically do? Uh, he's very good at moving heavy things and not much else. Yeah, then he should just follow for now. Right? Yeah. Companion right. mode engaged. And he just stands there looking at you, waiting for you to move. Yeah, yeah we uh, head off, uh, looking around for stuff like a tree or rock formation to hide. Okay. How about a uh, survival check? Sure. All right. All right. Feature um, attributes survival. Not one. Cap, you <gasps> are too distracted by. There's this Cat. gross smell. It's always here. Whenever you're landing, it always smells of just rust, blood. It's metallic y scent that makes it difficult to smell anything beyond. I pull up my visor and I kind of spit on the ground. Because to get the nasty taste in my mouth, it just does not work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ribs. Your keen, bushy eyes. Do you have eyes? You I look around. <laughs> okay. You look around and you see there is quite a bit of dead foliage. Maybe 50 feet, 100 feet away. Uh, it looks perfect to sling over the shuttle. Just hide it from passersby or overhead view. Which is important right. because you all know dragons sometimes do fly overhead. And I notify Corley of this advantageous position to um, land in. I'm not moving the shuttle. Yeah, we got. Oh, we got... oh, oh we're already landed. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. I mean, would no, you? It's all good. You're out of the shuttle. Would you kind of point it out to the rest of us? Uh, yeah. Retcon. I just uh, point that out to the rest of you guys. Okay. Yeah. Everyone. So, all see... right. Let's cover it up with some camouflage. All right. How do you guys cover up the sh Is it like uh, falling over trees or just like dead bushes? Uh, it is mostly, no offense, dead shrubbery. Um, I'm used to it. Okay. <laughs> the dead bodies of my companions. It is <laughs> mostly <laughs> dead to me. <laughs> um, killed many bushes, oh, were you not? I all... wear it. <laughs> I know that also... my the corpses of my kin make great camouflage. <laughs> Gizmo says, that's metal as hell. <laughs> um, amongst the dead shrubs and other branches and dead leaves, you also happen to find 
some destroyed parts of what may have been ships, equipment, basically metal scrap. Um, it's all rusty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if there's like a skid or something to like dump stuff on and then just slowly drag it over so we can have like Gizmo a team looks to at build you. it up. Yeah. Yeah. Guess I'm hey, gonna uh, do it. <laughs> come on, Gizmo. <laughs> do you have like a skid or something? I don't know Gizmo very well in, in person. Freight in mode engaged. I know, him, but I don't know. Okay, you, here we go. <laughs> you see uh, basically the equivalent of Spencer's floating disc. It's, it's large maybe 15-foot radius disc merges in front of Gizmo, uh, giving you a skid, or a basically a floating platform. Well, aren't, well, aren't you impressive? Yes. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, uh, we load it up and slowly uh, bring it over there to cover up the ship. Um, so we, uh, what's it called? We find, we're find we finding well, food and supplies. Will that count scrap metal? Actually, no. while no. everybody else is doing that, uh, I think Annika is going to be doing Overwatch, making sure, looking out for any danger that might come out of the tree line and then start attacking. Sounds good. Roll I'm going to try to find the biggest plants and throw it on this disc and try to, like, get as much covering kind of stuff. Roll survival. All right. Oof. Annika, this red misty fog that always permeates the air around it. makes it difficult to see anything at any real distance and while you are making a lookout it's a shit uh with an 18 airy you find good collection of dense foliage you end it you stir up some of the dead leaves and underneath it you find newly growing uh perfectly good foliage that's densely leaf that would serve for camouflage very well. I just grab it and tear it out of the ground. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, is there anything else anybody else wants to do in this immediate before I move on? No. Okay. Uh, as you guys are loading it up and you're getting you haul all of this over to the shuttle, uh, which is off. Um, I would like, it's kind of going to be a skill challenge. So I'm going to require, uh, firstly, a straight intelligence roll or a survival check, then a stealth check. And those rolls are going to determine DC anything has of seeing this. All right. And I provide the help action? Yeah, you totally can do it. Oh. Uh, Wait, the help action gives you advantage, right? And yes. you needed a, an, an intelligence check? Yes. Okay. Uh, which, based this on these like... survivals, is likely going to be very important. Yeah. 22. I rolled Survival. twice um, for that. I forgot how to do. 21 Monica, 21. Okay. And then a 16 on stealth from Ark. I need one more stealth. He just oh, uh, so just let me a stealth. Um, uh, do I do it because I'm doing stealth? Or doing help action? My armor gives no, you the advantage, helping. but... Okay. So this is not you hiding. Oh. This is you disguising the shuttle to... Yeah, I rolled I rolled it normally. So... 10. So a 16 and a 10 on stealth, and a 21 and a 10. The initial disguise. All right, got it. Let me make a note. Back to just wreckage and rubble <laughs> <laughs> uh, at one point one of you is like climbing up on the nose of the shuttle uh, and you look in and you see Corley has like a magazine in his feet up uh, completely <laughs> ignoring everything you're doing <laughs> standard operation <laughs> and we let him have a break he's been navigating for a good minute true hard he's man. a hard working man hard working man on the clock. Don't have it any other way. Get paid by the hour. No overtime. <laughs> All right. You guys have hidden the shuttle. Standing on this broken plane uh, that is littered with garbage. Good job, team. Um, I guess we can look for salvage. Okay. Uh, it's about time for us to start scouting for resources. Yeah. Mm. My how, do you, ready. how do you choose to go about that? You're just going to 
uh, basically wander around, or are you going to try and maybe choose a direction away from looking, the forest? Looking at the map, I think it's smartest, now that it's just the old me character, uh, probably smartest to uh, head west from here, find that river. Uh, usually uh, most settlements makes uh, points along a body of water. I was Fair. just about to say. Agreed. And food, yeah. and food a there. What are our priorities? So, like, is the number one thing food? And then if it's food, is it, I mean, processed food? Or, I mean, what what, what are we looking for? It's food. So, I think water. food. So one of the things that happened, or basically the is there was talk of the apocalypse coming, and people began stockpiling. And these stockpiles okay. have been extremely resource, like has been extremely helpful for the retrievers' efforts in the past. Uh, so if you could find a stockpile, that would be the best boon. Um, okay. At the moment, you don't see anything that looks like it would hint at one, uh, but choosing west as a direction is a good. Thing. I agree. Oh. You know, civilization is close to rivers, and there's probably food there. So let's head west. Um, one other thing is a question, uh, for my character. Um, how long has this apocalypse been happening? Hearth. I'm asking if, like, my character would probably know anything about, like, the past of this area. Hearth went into orbit 15 years ago. So, it's basically been happening for about 50 years now. Uh, and you guys are on, basically fighting against collapse, so... Your character could totally know some things before him. I like to know if there's a, like a kind of a bunker around here for, with a history check. Yeah, you could roll me a history check. It's a negative one, so let's go. Oh, hey. Seems not bad. Terracona, specifically the Terracai Valley, uh, was often looked at as ignored because it was basically this isolated area. It wasn't really anywhere near a location of importance. So, if there is a bunker here, it's probably well hidden, as it was ignored by Tiamat's forces and also the Arcan the Arcanics and Artifice. So, you yeah, don't know, but there may be good. If, if you think we can find a location that where a bunker might be, I can deploy my drone and see if there's any secrets to be revealed. Yep. Not too sure, honestly. Um, I kind of just relay what I know, but I, like, as a character, I, I don't know too much what it would be, personally. It's just there's an idea that it could be here. It could be. So I think our safest best bet right now is going west. I will say, with a 15 history and how Battlefield looks like it's so old, if there is a bunker here, it hasn't been touched in 15 years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. I mean, if you want to send out your drone to a bird's eye view real quick. Um, yeah, go ahead and scout the area. Why not? Right. Yeah. It's got a range of thirty. It's got a range of thirty feet. So we gotta ah. make an educated guess of where of it could be, and then it can find the secret door or a hidden door by mm -hmm. through via a scan of thirty feet. Right it's it's the dr it, the drone is a drone of secrets. Yeah. I don't know what that is. The Wand of Secrets. Ah, okay, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I... John is it? Okay. It basically okay. goes oh. in the air and it scans a 30-foot radius area. <laughs> <laughs> Very short, but that means very nothing. It's a new so contraption. Wait. She picked it up the last time you were back on the... I, I would, yeah, I'm, I'm testing like out to, all uh, of my gear today. Like, how large is each hex on this map? In 100 of, like, miles. Rel 100 oh. miles. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big map. So, oh, I think and we are just, we're right up. here in Tarkai Valley, like this hex, right? Yep. Okay. Well, so, actually, I'm sorry. That's kind of deceptive. It's more this basin here. Oh shit! Oh, I see. I see. Wow, we've, we've got a lot of ground to cover. Yes. <laughs> well, logically, uh, Do we have if any I vehicles? were, you have a shuttle that is assisting movement. Uh, I mean, besides that. No, you don't have vehicles on. No land vehicles. Okay, darn. The problem is land vehicles make a lot of noise. Uh, right. And you try to avoid that. As well. 
Okay. If I would make a shelter, a bunker, I think I would probably make it into the mountainside. That would be the most defensible and safe for a bunker. Are we looking for a bunker in these mountains? I guess. We could. That does make sense. Well, do we know the, the people that settled here? Were they um, the kind of people that mined? Were they the kind of people that fished? I mean, what... what... They were farmers. They're farmers. They were farmers. Okay. Yes. Mostly what, grain what... and crop farmers. Okay. And were they, like, multicultural, or were they a particular race, or...? Looks like they were dragonborn, actually. Okay. Oh, cool. I feel like, um, like, so is the stockpile something like the, um, the people of the city would go to and get food from, like a common, like, pantry thing? Or was it so, only for, like, these doomsday scenarios? As the war between the allied forces and Tiamat and Bolt of Dragons grew and expanded, uh, trade routes were getting cut off and cities were getting isolated and located. So stockpiles were created basically as an emergency food source for settlements or people that were not part of major cities. Okay. So it would most like it would it wouldn't be a bunker in a mountain. It would want it we would want it to be accessible. They would want it to be accessible by like the people in the settlement, right? Probably. Yeah. So it's probably west. I, I think like we should go like probably into the mm. foothills and see what happens. I'm more thinking of Fallout Shelter. You're right. Yeah. As you guys are discussing this, those of you with a perception of... Being so, uh, those of you with a passive perception of 15, you catch a glimpse of white in the corner, just over one of the hills nearby. There's just a hint of movement. There's like, you see there's like a dead tree and had just moved past it, just like a glimpse of something that was bone white. Um, is it moving or uh, it, it y- flitted into your view and then out you don't know what immediately uh, rifle comes out from the back and it starts pulsing up okay you are uh, on alert did anybody else see that uh, yeah I'm on alert too I saw that there was a white glint what do you do? Maybe you sh- maybe we should start moving. Yeah. Keep your eye on um, that tree line. Keep close to cover. Should we just head west for now since this is a hot area? Yep. Okay, let's just go. Let's go. Let's head west. Okay. All right. I need all of you to roll me a stealth check. All right. Sounds good. Oh, I didn't know I'd be using stealth so much. <laughs> it's a good I thing like a I have armor it. that doesn't have a negative. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Eight from Cap. Okay. Um, I just sort of suck at rolling. <laughs> I have a plus five. <laughs> okay. Before we go any farther, I need to know what sort of marching order you're trying to uh, sneak by what is happening. So I'm going to place you guys. Front. Wait, I got a, I got a map for this. Uh, Awesome. Go ahead and place your guys in what order you would be. So I think the idea is that we want to have the squishy units in the center, and we want to have the um the tankier units on the front and back end. I'm I'm tank I'm pretty I have seven mm. and seventeen dexterity. Um, how about you guys? I think I'll be um, on the back. I'm, I'm okay. definitely wheelie, so I need to be in the front. I think. Okay. Okay. I'll be behind you guys. I'm I not... am. I'm ranged, so I'll I'll be like second, while you are in the front if you're melee. All right. <laughs> uh, Annika looks fairly well armored, um, wearing a very uh, <sighs> scaly kind of leather suit. Okay. Um. So I, I, she can definitely be up front if you would like to move back a little bit. That's fair. And, okay. I guess I can help like guide, you know, from a more tactical position. All right. It's up to um, you. 
Okay, so so uh, just like list ACs and HPs. <laughs> just like uh, just te te text and chat. <laughs> and the, oh, okay. Um. Okay. Maybe uncomfortable with the cleric being so far behind. Um. Maybe we could get them a little bit you more get protected. Up there. Get up there. Go. I have a twenty-two AC. I have a. I'm wearing heavy armor. Okay. Okay. You should be in the front. Twenty-two AC. You're in the front. Oh, I'm in the front. Yes. Not much yes. of a fighter. I'm more here you're to heal you, fight. and you okay. guys do the fighting. Uh, probably in the center then. Yeah, in the center. All right. Wait, are you are you good at protecting? Cleric. Yes. If you're good at protecting, I think we put them in the front, right? <laughs> like like Reinhardt in Overwatch, like you know the person the shield in the front, right? <laughs> I'm better at shielding other people. Exactly. No, as... Uh... Not with their own body. Okay. Not with okay, we're, my we're own all, we're body. Pretty, we're all pretty good. Let's let's go ahead and surround the cleric and make sure yeah. that... Uh... Donut, yeah. donut formation, go. Donut yeah, formation. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. There uh, we go. What is going on here? <laughs> I'm not sure. We're <laughs> reforming every single I second while we're know. walking. <laughs> As you Where guys, am I supposed Cap, to... Cap, aren't you melee? Yes, I was going right, to guard then the I will swat, Then I will. I'll switch with you. It's fine. Okay. I... Uh, no one in the back. Gotcha. I'll be in the back. See the uh, infamous uh, uh... blob formation. <laughs> okay, I'll be third. I'll be. I'll be third ah! point. Okay. It is not a line. <laughs> it's you guys. It's okay. This is not. You don't have to be in a perfect line. Oh, of course not. <laughs> Lord. All right. <laughs> there we go. I pull out a phone cord and everyone just grab on. <laughs> Might be best. Okay. Boy, I didn't think this map would be a mistake. Uh, <laughs> now I know. <laughs> As you guys are walking, you see on your left there is this large. It must be some sort of power conversion station, transformer something but it is completely rusted and it looks more red than it does gray uh and it is big it's at least 20 feet long uh, and you see that there are some rusted containers near it. okay it's maybe a good 30 feet from you at this point and it is at this point that uh afraid um as you guys are trying to make your way along these planes. Aerie, you are just having a hard time being quiet. Yeah. Your armor is just, it's like pots and pans <laughs> rolling around in a drawer. Um, I didn't know I'd on, be Annika, is like, <laughs> like behind her, watch, watching you know, clink, 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 mm -hmm. trying to figure out where the problem is and try, seeing if she can yeah. fix it later. What do you, t oh, what do you no. need to tie down? Like, Aerie is yeah. six and a half feet tall. And yeah. she wears very heavy armor. This <laughs> massive hurt. tower of a dragonborn is just... <laughs> yeah. With each step. Uh, Annika's artificer mind is just going wild right now, trying to figure out the solution to this problem. Well... I'm like four foot and like I'm a bush. I'm pretty small. Just just heads up. I require uh, some faster thinking, fortunately, as Airy, a dart, a needle bone dart comes flying out of nowhere and sinks into your shoulder and you take of 10 course. points of piercing it. Of course. Oh, me? How many points? So, 10. I have a thing. Uh, if a creature that gets uh, <laughs> that gets uh, targeted by an attack within 5 feet of me, can, I can impose this advantage. Is that You do have to here? see the attack. Let's see. Um... No, Was literally, that against me? you can't psychically That's generate fair. where this attack yeah. came from. Um, That's fair. It um, is against you, I... Larry. Oh, okay. Sorry. Hey, I have the feature, the storm rune, that says I can't be surprised while, um, as long as I'm not incapacitated. Uh, so does that... I mean, is it... Well, I guess he isn't attacking me, so... Uh, you're not surprised, but you are aware that you are now under attack. Uh, okay. And I'm going to activate a scene... That you all can see with your eyes. Uh, as there is an assortment 
of devils that managed to get the jump on you. They, they hid as you were approaching, and as soon as one of you, as soon as one of you got close enough, and they could clearly see you, a barbed devil emerged from the side of this power unit and hurled somehow. You're not really sure as you're looking. A bone dart suddenly flew and slammed into. Yeah, okay, oh, hey, a at little that dart, moment, and she can, pulls it out. Yes. Okay. And on that note, time. I'm going to need everybody. Uh, awesome. Select token and then click. Yep. Initiative. Initiative. Wait, oh, we, we click the token? Oh, nice. Yeah, you wow. Yeah, click your token. Oh, shit. I... Okay. And then what? Oh, 22.2. Uh, and, and then, then if you on, look. On yeah, if you, you can roll your initiative by clicking on. You click on combat encounter in the top right bar. It'll pull up the encounter and you can see a dice next to your character. So the point. The point two is uh, just to break. Um, ties yes that is all it's for so cap you realize you're under attack and as you look over you see standing up from behind this power converter this huge iron structure is a bone devil you've dealt with these before they're terrible creatures that burrow into the ground and they have these massive barbed spikes that they use to rend their targets into ribbons and do any of you speak infernal yes yes nope 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 Okay, those who do, you hear the Bone Devil say, More prey. Collect on them. To everyone else, you hear, No! Oh, yeah. Devils! Really Cap. about to us? Cap, yes. Up. Okay. Cap is the first to react with an initiative of 25. Just quick on his feet. What do you do? Uh, I'm gonna see... Now keep in mind, this cover is 15 feet tall. So you can see the Bone Devil, because the Bone Devil is that big. But the rest of them are behind cover, with the exception of this Barb Devil. I'm just gonna take a dash forward. Go right here. Okay. Um, you run into melee. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's like I cautiously remind you, everything does more damage. Very powerful. Um, I think this is a bit dangerous. I currently have uh, one hand, both hands on my spear. That's about it. Okay. Uh, that's my action. I don't think action I have a bonus take. action. Let me double check. New character who this? New character who mm -hmm. this? I think we kill the smaller enemies first. What are y'all's thoughts? I attack what I see first. And I end my turn because I have. <laughs> 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 okay. But you can't attack? He I just not dashed. Have... He doesn't have an action because he used it to dash. Oh shit! Uh, yeah, it is. is uh, I'm trying to keep two of them in bay. They... Whoa! Wow! Is this fucking the smash animation? Yeah, I love this. <laughs> this all is you, really cool. All I want the system. <laughs> I'm I want to. I want to get the system. I just can't buy it yet. All of you watch as the Bone Devil sme sneers as Cap runs up and just mutters, handle him. And then, <laughs> the bone devil sinks into the earth. What are you saying? Oh, where'd he go? <laughs> You've made a mistake. Cap, why'd you go he so said, forward? He said, handle him. <laughs> a knight goes forward. Uh, perhaps that will resolve itself on a later turn. Annika, it's your turn. Oh, okay. You see a barbed uh, devil. Everything else is in full cover. <laughs> So uh, a little tube comes out of the uh, the. Uh, sorry, let me. I choose chose a different name for the my laser rifle, the Castle Seven Ninety A R L R. Okay, uh, sorry. <laughs> Love yeah, that. it's a automatic re automatic reloading la a laser rifle. Uh, I hook a tube up to a power supply that is hooked up to my belt, and then I take a knee and I take aim at the at the. Uh, well, I need to reposition, so I'll take a go right here, and I'll take aim at this one right here. Okay, you see what you're aiming at is a chain devil. It's this terrible creature composed almost entirely of chains, with they're hanging from both of its limbs onto the ground, dragging. It looks like it's about to swing one of them uh, toward your ally. 
Yeah, fuck that. Um, I will go ahead and spend a grit to uh, dead eye shot. Right. Um, getting advantage. You yeah. you close one eye, you go, they ain't got time for bleed. And then you open fire. Exactly. Go ahead. A 17. Does that hit a chain devil? It does. All right, cool. Man, that was a really bad hit. Okay, so uh, this is your laser rifle. It deals 19 points of damage on the shot. Mm -hmm. All right. One moment, please, while I take account of that. The chain devil um, looks at you, and you just hear this, Nah, don't pay for that. Energy goes through the tube, and uh, I don't. Ha I ignore the reload property of the rifle, and I take another shot. Okay. Twenty-four hits a lot better. Yes, that was just a normal roll. Okay. Another Nineteen. And a, a dose of the same medicine. Alrighty. Two shots. Two massive chains are <laughs> just shot off of the chain devil and slump onto the ground with this loud <laughs> just it's noisy uh strap the uh light rifle in its holster pull out the oh, sorry. Uh, pistol and move a little bit forward i think i was right here so it was 15 or 15 oh i can move up uh i just did another five so i'll move up here and i'll bring out the castle 257a what is that? An automatic <laughs> pistol. Okay. I feel like, I feel like my turn is, 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 is massively outweighed here. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's me. That's, okay. that's all I can do. Uh, on the end of your turn, uh, feel the ground rumble and shake beneath you. As the oh, shit. devil takes its legendary action. It oh, emerges God. in a tornado of bone sharp blades and knives, and just <laughs> I need a dexterity saving throw from you on it. Okay, do I get any benefits? Dexterity save. Oh wait, is that close enough? Damn it! <laughs> Damn you! <laughs> so close. My polar oh. master, no! <laughs> So I'm, I'm just checking if uh, my artificer armor gives me anything. It does for strength, for... I believe. If it was it a does? strength save, it would, but it, this is dex. Okay, gotcha. That is not going to cut it, my friend. I'm sorry. Nope. Okay, it's going to take its multi-attack on you in a bone tornado. Okay. Oh, 26 oh, to hit. That certainly hits. Uh, yeah. I need a constitution saving throw from you. Okay. Mistake. 14 Yikes. is the DC. Oh, good. Uh, so you take 16 points of damage total uh, from that Oh, and then I miss with the claw attack. Okay, so 16 points of damage total from the emerging of the ground. As it's spinning up, you see all these claws lashing at you, but the one that does connect is its terrible tail that winds all the way around, and this stinger <laughs> sinks into your abdomen, punching through the armor. And you feel this venom begin to get pumped into you, and you just you grit your teeth, and it does not take hold or effect upon you. All right. Uh, and then... Gets one more claw attack. So that's a 12 and 11. Both of those miss. All right, so the Bone Devil's turn is over. Arno. Okay. I am running up here. Uh, using my bonus action to engage my... Um, my uh, plasma inducers. Uh, okay. And uh, my war hammers just burst out in flame. Right. And I'm going to go for some attacks on the not so nice guy. So, uh, let's see. Um, 
Wait, where are tax? Oh, is that inventory? Yeah, just the, oh. go to inventory and we'll add the D6 for your... Okay, uh, so for the first attack... 20 hits. Okay, second attack. 16 does not hit. Okay, and then um, I don't get a bonus action this round. Okay, so uh, damage. Um, so if you click on the damage in the chat bar, mm -hmm. just go ahead and roll that, and then we add. Oh, it already counted for the d6 from the. Oh, fire. I, I put it. I put it in. Oh, so. okay, cool. All right. So yeah, um, and it counts as a ma it counts as a magical weapon, and then the plus five is fired. Okay, so you actually deal twenty-two points of damage to creature with your enhanced hammers. As you slam into it, the Bone Devils, uh, you watch as these hammers take a solid chunk out of the rib cage of the Bone Devil, deflecting and bending the bones in on itself, and it whips around looking at you, and you hear, You'll pay for that! Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, anything I else in your turn? I understand it. I yeah, will, just, um... yes, you are! <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, I'm going I to end my turn. Okay, Aerie, you are up. Battle has broken out. What do you do? All right. Harry is going to use her movement. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. One second. Hey. Oh. Don't move to that position. You're going to block my shot. Just like a little to the right, I think. It's I think she up. got uh, family aggro. Oh, fair. Should have wore your family anti-CC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quick, take deep buffs. <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm back. You're all good? What are you doing? All right. I'm moving my 30 feet I, forward. So, wait, wait. Can you move? Oh, I guess 30 is the next. Yeah, I was going to, like, you, shoot from there, but I need to, like, find an angle then, huh? You can I always you relocate can yourself. As well. You can oh, shoot yeah. through people. It's very lethal, but choice. Yeah. Tremendously lethal. I give you all permission to shoot through me, as long as you kill the person right in front of me. <laughs> if you don't, then I'm gonna be mad. We're dead. One of those things. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna cast Beacon of Hope. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what does that look like for you? Um. Oh dang. I I don't have this in my inventory, but I assume I would have a staff, not for battle. Sure. But... All right. I take my staff, which is made of a titanium alloy with a crystal on top of it. I stab it into the ground, and it quickly produces an aura around it, kind of a gold one. Okay. Um. That. Um gives people the maximum healing from healing spells and also advantage on wisdom saving throws and death saving throws. What's the radius on that? Uh, it is 30 feet. Is it just healing spells? Whoa, that's awesome. I think it's max healing over one. It just from any healing. From any healing, you get the max. Yes. Uh, gotcha. Sounds good. And you have an advantage on death saves. Nobody die. <laughs> All right, you are in melee. You've activated Beacon of Hope, and you are looking up at a Bone Devil. Do you have a bone bonus action you'd like to use? Oh, yes, I would. Do it, coward. <laughs> I will. <laughs> um, Is that Cap down there? Yes. This that is, is Cap, yes. If you mouse uh, over, you'll see their name. Oh! Hey, if you want to fight all of them, go ahead and take some protection. I fucking... Uh, I throw some sort of small disc at him and cast shield of faith now normally which... i would say you can't cast two spells on a turn oh but, you but can. we're all op so go ahead okay, okay. he uh, throws this <laughs> on my back and i uh, cough a little bit my old is that normally a rule in D, &D? yeah normally you yeah. cannot cast two spells on a turn unless one of them is a cantrip but i don't care this is a one shot you guys are op you cast two spells this turn I have a spear. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Um, 
Should I account that for the rest of my turns too? That. Yes. That's your turn. Um, let me go ahead if I can find my shield. There it is. You have a token. Been uh, so yeah, your AC is increased by two, Cap. Nice, nice. Which is going to help, let me tell you. Uh, next. Rib. Alright, it's Ribs. Coming in. Ribs. Show Alrighty. them how the shrubbery do it. Okay, so I will, um, if I move, oh, how do, how do I move? Um, so if you right click, click, if you just click on your token, you can click and drag it. Okay. Or you can use your arrow keys. You can just use your arrow keys. Okay, I will move here. Okay. And um, I can shoot diagonally, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, actually, I meant to move. I mean, it's large, so That's you should right. be able to shoot over their heads, too. Right here. You, okay, so yeah, I'm... you can shoot the Bone Devil from basically anywhere. Okay, so I will um, go for three attacks with my antimatter rifle. Okay. Yippee. So, how do I do an attack? Like, I just click on my weapon? So, click on your, yeah, in your inventory, uh, yeah. mouse over and click on the antimatter rifle. And then it'll give you a prompt in the chat. Attack. Click on attack. A 15 does not hit the Bone Devil. Oof. Second attack, a 23 does hit the Bone Devil. Okay, now I roll damage. Yeah, now you just click on damage. 27. All right. Uh, and a third attack. Go for it. 14 does not hit. That's fair. So, you all hear this powerful just pew, 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 coming from behind you. And these antimatter slugs are drilling holes into anything they touch. And in this case, the Bone Devil gets slammed in the upper shoulder. And just a clean hole punches all the way through. And the Bone Devil whips around and says, No, you, you're next. Me? Oh, I'm touched. Anything else in your turn? Um, that's about it for now. Okay. Uh, it's, it's now the Barb Devil's. The one in melee with you, Cap, uh, is it the... It's not that one's turn yet, so don't worry about it. Uh, this one is going to... Uh, going to make an athletics check. Which it makes, and it climbs up onto the roof of this. Ah, oh, out of my range! <laughs> <laughs> Damn you! My I know, only weakness! I know. <laughs> uh, it sees all the entities surrounding the Bone Devil, uh, and it sees... Uh, and the person, the bush with the large rifle, uh, and it's going to make an attack. I'm going to roll to see which one it is. Five. It's shooting at you, Cap. It raises okay. this weird shaped weapon that you all have seen before. Uh, it's a needle rifle. Oh! Oh, shit. That's a 25 to hit shield. you. It does hit, please. Yes. Okay, one second. Nine points of piercing damage. Nice, nice. Uh, and then it's going to make another attack. Uh, that's a 19 to hit. That is also... That's a miss. Okay. So 20 now. Fair enough. Uh, the Barb Devil, when that one misses, just goes... Uh, and will uh, hunker down as it goes prone. Next. Did music die? Why did music it, die? So whenever this like this uh, animation goes on, every single, almost every single time, it cuts off the music and it comes on like after twenty seconds. Huh. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know why. There we go. Back on. Sorry about that. Uh, next in the order is it's Barb Devil. This one is going to run around. This side of things. Ah, coward! <laughs> and <laughs> you are handled, sir. It's going to fire a needle rifle at the bush. Oh, shit. Go right I through miss. The bush. That's a 10 to hit. No way. Uh, but it'll yeah, try again. A 14 to hit? I'm 17. Oh, man. Game's 8 for 18 and over. Hey, leave her, <laughs> leave her alone. Ah, <sighs> oh, you fucking <laughs> monster! 
Alright. <laughs> Alright, that's it is going to going to do. It will dive back here so it has had so it has half cover against them. And that's the end of its movement. Next. Thick dodges. Chain devil. This one oh. rounds the corner. Uh, and it is going to... What do you do? Oh, it sees Flaming Hammer's boy over there. Uh, it's going to hurl its chains at you. Let's see if it hits. This is a fun little feature. Does a 17 hit you, Arno? Yeah. I don't. I didn't hear you. You said yeah. I think so. No, it does not. It did not. Okay. Oh, thank okay. You. Sorry. Okay. You deflect that chain attack. It follows up with another one. That's a natural one. All right. Definitely does not hit. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out. I smack it out of the sky. <laughs> <sighs> My dice have struck as always. All right. Uh, the chain devil will frown. All right. The one in front of you, Cap. <laughs> finally. Yes, finally. It's going to do a thing. Uh, it's going to make a tail attack on you. As it suddenly, this barbed tail whips out from underneath its armor and slashes up at you. Uh, that's a 14 to hit. I bounce it off with my spear. <laughs> I am not surprised. All right. It's going to make a couple claw attacks on you. As it, it basically... Uh, it it slings the needle rifle over its back and then begins to wail on you. That's a 24 to hit. Oh, that that's a hit. <laughs> uh, yeah. That will be 12 points of slashing damage. I see. Uh, and then that's it for its turn. Yes, that's okay. it. It's not going to move. It's going to stay right in front of you. Mm, I see. Uh, the other chain devils. This one... Uh, is going to run behind you, Cap. And it's going to attempt to wrap its chains up around you and pin you down. Okay. Is this uh, acrobatics or athletics? Shit? It's an attack first. Uh, that's a 19 to hit. That's a miss. Okay. It will. It has advantage. It's flanking. It will. It get. Uh, oh. I will roll in. It got worse. All right. So the first attack misses. <laughs> All right, next attack. That's a natural 20 for a 28. Ah, I see. I'm going to use my reaction to um, make that attack roll again. Have it make, uh, yeah, force the attacker to re-roll the 20. Okay. It's runic shield. Does, the, does that have a range requirement on it? Uh, oh, sorry, 60 feet. Okay, I think yeah, I'm, you're, yeah. Totally, you're totally within. All right. He will roll again and frowns, but it's a 22 to hit. Oh. I see. <laughs> well, at least it's not a net. Okay, so it does hit you. Uh, so you're going to take some damage, sir, I'm afraid. Uh, you take 12 points of slashing damage. And I need an mm. athletics check. Athletics. As these chains wrap up and around your shoulders, and they begin to constrict. That is, that is a nat one. <laughs> you, How much damage? You take. It's not many more damage, it's 12 points of slashing damage. Uh, but you are now grappled. Ouch. Your movement is zero. Okay, gotcha. Cap, it's now your turn. Okay. Um, I'm grappled. That's just, uh, that's not the... Movement is zero, no. that's it. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, attack action. Uh, first off, I'm going to take my spear... And going to use the attack action. One on the barbed devil, one on the chain devil. This one will be on the barbed. Okay. 20 hits. Okay. Actually, is that a. No, it's a. It's half of it. Let's see. Roll damage. That is baby damage. Uh, so, uh, 14 points of damage. Gotcha, gotcha. And this one will be on the chain devil. Okay. An 18 hits the chain devil. Okay. Okay, 20 points of damage to the chain devil. 
And then bonus action using the back of my spear to now uh, knock the uh, the uh, barb devil. Okay. You give Let's him see. the bonk. Give him the bonk. Apparently, this is just a plus seven. Uh, a sixteen on the barb devil. Yes. That does hit. That does hit. Okay. He takes this much, and he's also pushed back five feet. Okay. Takes ten points. A bonk. Is there a save or is that just a push? I think it's just a push, but let me double check on that one. Features it's Crusher. Uh, Crusher, when you score a uh, uh, when you uh, hit a creature with an attack that has, deals bludgeoning damage, you can move that and move them five feet to an unoccupied space. Provided the target no uh, no more than one size locker. So okay. he just pushed. All right, he is knocked back from you. Uh, you see his feet claw as he almost falls off the precipice of that. Nice, nice, nice. Well, can't move forward, so I will end my turn right here. All right, it's now the Bone Devil's turn. Uh, the Bone Devil looks down, resurrounding surrounding it, uh, and it will raise its wicked tail, reminiscent to those of the Barb Devil, but so much worse, and it's going to make a sweeping attack, one on each of you. So, starting from the right, that's a natural 20. No. Annika, I crit you. Uh-huh. Okay. Then, Arno. It's a 24 to hit you. Does hit. And then, Aerie. It's a 13 to hit you. <laughs> All right. So, the crit on Annika. I need a con save. Oh, boy. That is successful. Uh, you take 40 points of damage. Uh. But you are not poisoned. And it could have been way yeah. worse. Uh, Arno. You take... Uh, you take 20 points of damage. Okay. Uh, and that's it. For the Bone Devil's turn. Mm -hmm. Annika, you're up. Um... Uh, I've made a mistake. Um, I'll <laughs> action disengage. Okay. And move back. And um, uh, she presses another button on her uh, utility belt. And where she got stabbed the first time with the stinger, a bit of medical foam comes out of the suit and stitches it back up using second wind. Good call. <clears throat> and I get the full 15 points. You do. Because of... Beacon of Hope. The beacon. Oh, I do require a concentration check from you, Harry. Oh, yeah. Uh, no! The DC is 10 from that hit that happened earlier. Uh, isn't Beacon of Fate non-concentration? That's just from... Beacon, of, beacon yeah. of Hope. Yes. Beacon of Hope is. Mm. Wait... Ooh. And then Shield of Faith wouldn't, also have, then yeah. Shield of Faith wouldn't work. Oh yeah, they're both concentration. Uh oh. All, All right, we'll say concept? we'll say Shield of Faith is down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're muted. By the way. I planned this badly. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh -oh. Roll that concentration. DC's ten. It's a con save. Um. I hope the beacon uh, stays in. Uh oh. Beacon of hope falls. Uh, okay, then I, I said nothing. Then I wouldn't have gotten the fill of 15 then. Wait, don't. I thought you were. I don't know. No. Oh. You basically did. You got 14. Minus one hit point. Okay. Uh, and so, yeah, I think that's, 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 I actually disengaged in bonus action. So that's it. Okay. For my... Arno, you're up. Okay. Uh, bonus action to grow to large size. Okay. Oh. Oh. This is a oh, thing boy. you can do. Yep. Yep. Big. Let's get grande operators. <laughs> okay. 
And uh, let's see. Then uh, first attack. Oh. I'm gonna... <laughs> First attack, I'm gonna do a uh, do a shove on um the uh the bo- the bone devil. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll your attack. Actually, no. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna attack him because um. You're just gonna bone. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna... Okay. So um. An eleven does not hit. Okay. Yikes. Neither does okay. a ten. Um, that's unfortunate. And that, uh, well, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay right there. Okay. And as you have grown to match the size of the Bone Devil, it turns and looks at you, and you just hear a, <laughs> uh, Ari, it's your turn. I thought it was just a picture of a berry bush. <laughs> just a strike there, just, just looking at don't, it. <laughs> uh, don't I only lose concentration if I get damaged? Yeah, but you can only have two, one concentration spell. Yes. I mean, yeah. that's my self-portrait. And, and you got you got damaged on the last round. He did a sweep attack, with, and crit, crit Annika hit Charles, I believe, and then hit you as well. Uh, he made an attack, but it didn't hit, did it? Yeah, it didn't hit. It, yeah. Oh, it didn't hit? Um, hold on, I'm looking hmm. at my number. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It was a 13 to hit. It did not hit. Bring me back oh, to okay. heal! Which means my hope thing's still up, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, oh, my mistake. Yes. I'll, I'll add okay. that one point back. Uh, <laughs> There's hope for me yet. <laughs> That's my bad. Um. Shoot. Uh... You see Cap oh. is getting roughed up over there. You see Annika is behind you, no longer engaged, but is also looking pretty bad. Uh, um, next to you, Arno is in the clash, uh, looking a bit over half. So I think um, I'll cast wait, Mass Healing Word at oh. fourth level. Okay. Um, so is that 4d4 plus your modifier? Uh, it's 2d4 plus 11. Mm. I'm rolling. Although it gives maximum healing. Okay, so that's 19 mm-hmm. points of healing to everyone. Solid. Good shit. 19. Oh, is that a... That's a bonus action. Yes. Um, can I Bonk. disengage? <laughs> yeah, you can disengage. All right. Um, I'll just you take... <laughs> Wait, how do I... Yeah. So I if you're... will take... There you go. Two steps. Yeah, there. <clears throat> Give the Runic Knight his epic anime 1v1. Hell yeah. <laughs> Uh, does my out. beacon of hope stay at the same spot it was? Uh, no, it's, it follows you. Oh, it follows me. Okay. Yeah, it's centered on you. I think I'm still in range, so I, I can still benefit off of it. Yeah. On the end of your turn, Bone Devil, because legendary action. Oh, shit. Um, okay, I need every one of you to roll me a wisdom save. Oh, I'm proficient in this shit. Which I'm a we have samurai. advantage on because Beacon of Hope. Oh, nice. Is is that true? I don't know. It's your spell, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to work. Beacon, Beacon of Light. Beacon, Beacon of Hope. Of Hope. Yep, they have advantage, advantage on wisdom saves. Hell yes. Right. We roll with advantage. Lovely. And I have proficiency. It's so nice for me. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, 20. All of you crush this wisdom save as the DC was 14. None of you are frightened. Boned up. I feel nothing. Well, on top of that, you're not frightened. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. The bone devil so uh, basically just like raises its bone claws and. 
up in the air, attempting to to just instill fear in all of you. But you've seen worse. What? What's that we've doing? Worse. We've seen worse. I fought a whole revolution, this little bunny. Raising his hands like you don't care? You're not Shaking that scary, around. dude. <laughs> I have feelings, too. All right. It's better no, to be... It's your turn. You don't! <laughs> <laughs> it's better to be hidden than scary, I think. All right. So I will stand here, and I'm going to activate uh, Fighting Spirit an action surge to get six attacks total and advantage on every weapon attack roll until the end of the turn. Okay. So boom, boom. How do how do I do this? Um. Hold up. So you're just, you're making six attacks. Uh, go ahead and roll each attack with advantage. Tell me who you're shooting at. Okay. So I am. Give me two seconds. Gosh, I can't find anything. Okay. I'm shooting at the Bone win, Dragon. You win runner ult. Go ahead. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Basically. Uh, okay. Go ahead and roll your attack at advantage. Advantage. 20 hits. All right, damage. Oh, wait, is that critical? No, it's not. No, it's a Normal dirty damage. Dirty 20. 21 points oh. of damage on the first shot to the Bone Devil. Okay. Hell yeah. Needs to wash itself. All right, attack again. A 19 just hits. And I go for a hit. Okay. Uh, the second shot <laughs> slams through the chest of the Bone Devil. Still up, but it looks like it's miserable. Hell yeah. All right, a third shot. Boom, advantage. Uh, that is a miss. Okay, one more. I have. <laughs> how many rolls have I done? I've done like uh, three. That three. is your. F that was your third. That was my third. Okay, so three more. Okay, attack with advantage. That hits. And damage. Uh, okay. Pfft. Ribs, how do you slay the Bone Devil with your fourth attack? With a flurry of antimatter shots, I yell. Um, I just yell. I just yell. Okay. I just fucking yell with my bushy vocal, um... I guess, like, body, or whatever. Okay, so with a, and... a vicious rustle of foliage, you <laughs> demolish this bone devil, as all of you watch the enemy matter, matter rifle just roaring. <laughs> the bone devil is rearing back, twitching in pain, as just huge sections of it are blasted away, disintegrating into the air behind it, until finally, the last shot you fire at it slams straight into the bone devil's face, and the whole creature <laughs> spreads down into just bone dust. It I have a couple destroyed. attacks left, right? You do, you have two more. Okay. I'll, can I I'll move here. Yep. With like yeah. ten. You can, and, you uh, can indeed. That's fair. You see a chain devil is wrapping its chains around a uh, cap. All right. I'm not consenting! We're shooting that bitch too. Okay. All right, attack. Advantage. That does not hit. All right, one, one last attack. Okay. That hits. Oh, the music changed right in time. <laughs> Normal. You destroy oh. the chain devil with the final shot in your flurry of, of blasts into this encounter. Uh, the chain devil, its main just bodily form suddenly collapses under the weight of all the chain. And Cap, you feel all these chains suddenly just hanging off of you. Just <laughs> falling onto the ground. Hell yeah. Good turn. <laughs> that was a nice turn. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I need to roll a morality, a more a morale check. These guys, real quick. Okay. They all rolled super high. They seem angry with you oh, as they all begin to ribs. rally their weapons and they raise their needle rifles. Towards you, ribs, uh, and these barbed devils all open fire. <laughs> oh shit! Well, I'm here for it. <laughs> Shoot the bush. <laughs> uh, that's a 17 to hit. Oh yeah, um, I am at 17, so okay, it so doesn't hit me, you. right? Uh, 17 mm -hmm. is your AC, so meets it hits. Okay, so I'm hit. Uh, that is 12 points of piercing damage from the first shot. 
All right, is that calculated on me? All right, now I have to do it myself. You have to do it yourself. Uh, okay. When you take damage, you can in the click on your token, and then in the bottom you see the little looks like a health bar thing with a skull in red and then a heart in blue. Yeah. What? Oh yeah, yeah. So you punch in the number of the damage you take, and then you hit the down arrow, and that's how much damage is dealt to you. So you don't have wait, to do wait, math. Wait, wait, wait. Can you do that? Oh, oh, the damage. Okay, hold up. 12 down. Yes. If piercing damage does regular damage to a bush, would slashing damage be double damage? Maybe. <laughs> we can humor Only that. if it's prunes. <laughs> you, could, you, could, you could homebrew that. I'm pretty busted with this anti rifle. <laughs> I don't I'm worry. a very fragile thing being a bush. Uh, the next attack. The great a, pruning. A 19 to hit. That does hit. Uh, hit. But you only take five points of piercing damage from that one. There's a little, little one. So, little wait, baby you take, wait, wait. so how much total damage? Uh, between the two, you took 17 points of damage total. Okay, 17. Oh, wait, wait. So I just add five more damage. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that barb devil is... He lays back down prone. The next barb devil, uh, the one that was engaged around the corner, uh, steps wider to get a cleaner shot on ribs as you have made them your enemy. Uh, <laughs> you have demolished... The bone devil. Uh, this needle rifle opens fire. That is going to be a 16 to hit, which misses you. Then the next attack is a 20 to hit, which totally gets in that. Uh, 11 points of piercing damage. Ouch. The barbed devil is then going to run back behind cover because it did see what that rifle did. Um, <laughs> this chain devil is still alive. Uh, this one is sees that Cap is engaged, but no longer grappled, uh, and it sees the massive figure of the enlarged Arno, uh, and decides to focus on Cap. Let's chains at you. That's a 17 to hit, which does not hit you. That's a 26 to hit, Cap, which does hit you. Um, I need you to make a strength saving throw for me, Cap. Uh, strength save. What 26. You are not knocked prone. And the chain devil suddenly comes hurtling towards you. Just it like hook shots its way across the ground and slams into you. Uh, and you take 13 points of slashing damage and 6 points of bludgeoning damage. 13 minus... Six, and go over here. Uh, and you are not grappled, but you are now in melee with that chain devil. Nice. I was going to go to him, but he came to me. Uh, it, well, he's there now. Uh, the barb devil that you knocked away uh, is going to... It almost rears back and falls off, uh, but instead it raises its needle rifle to fire on upon you. Oh, I should probably get rid of that. Uh... Okay, it's a 23 to hit and an 18 to hit. I think the 23 does. Uh, 23 does. 18 does. You take 18 does? Remember, because uh, he does that's right. faith on that's me. That's right. Okay, so you do take two hits. Uh, that's 10 points of piercing damage total. Oh. I rolled real bad. Uh, this chain devil is dead. This barb devil is going to move... Way from the cliff. Like that. Uh, and that's its turn. Cap, you're up. Um, I didn't say this, so you can say yes or no earlier, but uh, this guy walked up to me. Can I use my reaction to attack of opportunity on him? I didn't say any mo in a moment. I This one? I blinked. Yeah, the chain devil. He didn't walk up to you. He was slingshotted to you. Um, ah, gotcha. I will like not say... If you roll me a dex save and you beat a 15, yes. That is enough. <laughs> okay. It just happened okay, too fast. Gotcha. You weren't ready for it. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, let's see. I will start attacking. Oh, boy. I'm attacking now. Hit it very hard. 10 miss, I'm sure. A 10 does miss, yes. That one. Oh, well, that one. 21 hits. <laughs> okay. 
22 Ooh. points of damage. Okay. And I will be a second win, but because I'm inside the Beacon of Hope, I get max healing. Yep. Let's see. Make sure. Bonus action. I'm going to take that away. 10 plus 8. Okay, you heal for 18. And that will be the end of my turn. All right. Annika, it's your turn. All right. See, as the major threat's gone, I'm gonna run my full movement over here. Okay. And uh, with the Castle 257 automatic pistol, uh, let's have it twice. Screw that! Screw the pop, pop, pop! <laughs> hit very hard. 12 does not hit. Boom, 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 boom. That's what I like to see. 24 does hit. Good shit. Uh, 16 points of damage uh, to which is this? Oh, sorry, the, the barbed devil here. Okay, yeah, absolutely. The automatic pistol gets away from you in the first shot, but the second one, you line it up perfectly. And <laughs> you just managed to land a nice square shot right in the chest of the barbed devil. Awesome. Um, do anything with bonus action? Nope, that's it. Okay. Uh, if that's it for your turn, next up, Arno, you're up. How you doing, big guy? You're muted. Sorry about that. Um, how tall is the structure compared to me? It is 15 feet tall. You're about 10 feet tall, so it's got five feet on you. Okay, am I able to run and jump and get right here? Uh, with a good uh, athletics check, I would allow it. Okay. Uh, athletics check. That, oh my is, God. that is the opposite. Okay, so oh my God. At, you run up to this structure intending to leap up on top of it and you hit just a wet patch you, maybe it's somebody's mm -hmm. blood maybe somebody peed themselves maybe it's just water whatever <laughs> it is your foot just sinks into the, the dead ground and you just feel yourself and you fall prone right here okay um Bone devil do I, do I still have an action and stuff like that yeah or? you just you just spent your movement there you, you still have action you still have half your movement Still have half my movement. Oh, okay. Uh, well, then I will just come up to here. Uh, sorry, bud. I'm not going to step on you. You did fall prone. Um, oh, I did fall prone. Oh, okay. Then I get I get up. Okay. So you uh, stand with the rest. That's the and um, you still have an action and bonus action. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna. Well, okay. I'm dual. I'm dual wielding. Um, am I able to pull out a hand axe? Yeah. You can okay. just tuck uh, a hammer into one hand and pull out a hand axe. Okay. Um, and it's, uh, I it didn't transfer my in inventory. Um, I, okay, I can do it from um, beyond 20. No, it did not. Hang on. Okay, and I'll just throw the two of them at... Uh... Now you can from Foundry. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, from the chain, from the chain double. Okay. Okay. So, uh, first one. 12 does not hit. And second one. Man, your dice so, are just being brutal to you. Yikes. No, okay, and then uh, bonus action is... I, I don't have any bonus actions. So, uh, that, will, uh, th uh, that will be it for my turn. Okay. Man, I f I'm sorry about your dice, dude. That sucks. Uh, Ari, you are up. Okay. Um. I. How do I move my token when I do the ruler thing? A space bar. I think it was like yeah. oh, space. Uh, oh, All right, shit. thank you. Um. Nice. I think I'll walk. Right here. Oh, but that's through right someone. Right. I would walk you, around. You can, you can go through them. It's fine. 
You don't. You cannot end your turn occupying an ally's space, but you can move through them freely. Oh, okay. Awesome. He's also a category larger than you, so you can actually end your turn on his space. In between his legs. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Um, I'll go ahead and cast Cure Wounds on Cap. Okay. You smack Cap, and you feel better, Cap. <laughs> um, Whoa! Boy! Um, I, would like, I would like to see the healing touching. Yes, I'm... You all hear, the healer! Take out the healer! Oh, really? I hear that? Oh, dang. Well, if you speak infernal, you can. I do. And you hear that. Um. What are they saying? <laughs> I go ahead and just, like... Yeah, I, <laughs> you know, because I thought it was funny. I'm going to bonk you on the head with my staff. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to feel a lot better. <laughs> you heal for max, because of Beacon of Hope. So you yep. heal for 25. No, yes, 25. I can do hmm. math. I can't. Bonus action. <laughs> I am going to <laughs> that, that yeah, is I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just walk a few feet back. Let's see. That's 15. Yeah. Just get behind him. <laughs> okay. You move. And that's the end of your turn. Uh, ribs. It's your turn. Yep. What do you do? Sounds good. All right. Looks like... Is, is this monster... Um. Is the one like that's in like the brick? Is it on top of the brick or like it is behind prone the brick? on top of the brick? Okay. It's it's doing that so you have a harder time shooting at it. Understood. Uh, mm. As close as you are, you can't actually see it. Two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh, Hold on. I think I'm gonna move right. Can I move here? Yep. Okay, and and shoot this guy. That is totally an option. Okay, wait, can you see my screen or, like, what I'm screening I can see your over? cursor, yeah. Okay, okay, good, 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 yeah. Alrighty. So I will, um, just go for the classic three shots in this guy with my anti-monitor. Okay, go for it. Roll your attacks. Alright. Attack. Normal. 17 hits. Damage. Normal. 30. <laughs> yeah. Nice shot. Thank you. And, Oops. uh, oh, is it dead? No, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. It's and now... Again. One more Here we go. attack. 23 hits. And damage. Now it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> so the rifle's rather powerful. Turns out, yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, you you run around the corner and you raise the, the magnum opus of your bounty hunting career. The antimatter rifle just... Pew, pew, and the chain devil immediately just collapses in a pile of metal that begins to yeah. corrode away immediately. You know, I took no magic items. I, I think this is moderately fair. Only moderately. Uh, next. <laughs> I still have another so attack. I have one more you? attack, yeah. Okay, so I will um, attack this guy in the back. Okay. All right. A 12 oh, does not I'm, hit. I miss, alas. Okay. Uh, is that it for your turn? That's it for my turn. All right. All right. This barb devil uh, is going to lean over, uh, and it sees Airy hiding behind Arno. And it sees ribs unloading devastation with the antimatter rifle. Uh, and it is going to spend its turn running away. <laughs> it will jump down off of the roof. And it's going to... That was its movement. is half of it to get down. Uh, and then it's going to run. Get here. 
Uh, and then this barb devil is going to do the same. And this barb devil is going to do the same. They are running into the woods. Oh shit. Darn. Uh, that's their turn. Do you guys chase or do you let them go? I'm just going to go about to this barrel and I'm just going to pull a couple of shots with my bow. Okay. Your super high tech graviton powered crossbow. <laughs> right? Oh, I love this. No, yeah. just a wooden bow. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck. All right, go ahead. Your text. <laughs> nah, just a bow. <laughs> um, no, that's a miss. Yeah, that misses by quite a bit. So I'm out of practice. <laughs> Okay. Uh, is that your turn? That will be my turn. I'm not going to put any more effort into it. Annika. Right. All right. The uh, Castle 790 ARLR comes out again. And I'll move up kind of semi behind Cap. Okay. Take aim. Um,. Start with the farthest one first, so this one. Okay. Uh, and it's got the range for it. Jeez. 14 does not hit. However, if you guys are going to make it your goal to slay these devils before they get away, we don't need to roll. Because they're not going to fight back. They're trying to retreat. Right. So, okay. I would prefer that they don't get away. Okay. Yeah. Let's fucking kill them, of course. All right. Yeah, they're just going to go chat up to their friends and get fucking more of them. End them. Slaughter them. Actually, what's what's the range on this? It's crazy. Uh -huh. No, uh, uh, my tracking powder. My fairy fire. 60 feet. That well, I mean... Is... And then... Hold on. Uh... Right, 60 foot I, I range, know. 20 foot cube. Yeah, actually, instead of that, uh... We're gonna, we're gonna see if we can, uh, if we can track them to make it easier for us to kill them. Uh, so instead of the r rifle, if if you don't mind me right counting that, I it's fine. What are you doing? Uh, just gonna fairy fire them. Okay, they need to make deck saves. Yeah, sixteen. Uh, eight, eleven, and twenty-one. So the front right. two sparkle. <laughs> yeah, Not easy to see. Uh, Annika takes out this kind of like this flare pistol, shoots it out, and then uh, a bunch of dust, just phosphorus dust, sprinkles okay. all over them. Arno, are you going running after them? Yeah, yeah. Did Did you say before that you you would just say that we we got them without rolling? I'm going to say that because they're trying to retreat. I'm going to give you guys a few rolls to attempt to kill them before oh. they reach the oh, okay. forest. Oh, okay. I'm gonna, so I'm going to basically give each of you a couple turns worth of attacks. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, but because uh, then... of the fairy fire, you have an advantage on those. Oh, great. Okay, so um, I I get to do three. Um... That hits. Oh, I, um, there's a lot more to that. There's um, a, a 2d6 more. Um, sorry about that. No worries. Okay. Okay, so that's 26 points of damage. Okay, uh, next one. Uh, 21 hits. Okay, so 18 points of damage. 
Um, okay, that hits. All right, you kill one of them. Okay. Good set. All right, so Arno, those are your attacks on the escaping barb devils. Ari, are you going to chase them down? I'm going to try to fire at them. Okay, go for with it. With my rifle. Okay, go ahead and make a couple of attacks. With my gun. Uh, they have <laughs> advantage get... because of the fairy fire. Oh, awesome. I think I get one attack. I'm giving you a couple rounds worth. Oh, okay. Uh, a 21 hits. All right. I'm definitely aiming for the furthest one away. Okay. Um, How do you roll multiple times? When you click on the attack for the weapon, you can choose advantage. Oh. Uh, okay. So that is 17, 17 damage on the first shot. I don't have a second attack. I'm giving you another oh, attack. Oh, sorry. Just... Oh, I forgot resolve huh. this acceleration okay. of rounds uh you're right uh that you i do you have to roll to a hit again first <laughs> yep there's no auto hits in here uh oh oof. no that does not that is a not one and a two <laughs> you're lucky these things don't jam all right ribs all right i assume you're going to attempt to kill these innocent yeah. poor barb devils. Innocent, innocent. <laughs> barb. Excuse me. I'm innocent. Go for it. You they haven't... shall feel my wrath. I, I'm gonna jump up on this platform and I'm gonna shoot them. Okay. I, my effective range is 120. Yeah, I'm, you're gonna have a couple rounds worth of, of attacks here. Go ahead and basically take two turns worth of it before they get to the forest. Okay. Um, I have advantage because like of the thingy, right? Yes, you have advantage because of fairy fire. Okay. 24 I, hits. Hitting this, hitting this guy. This one? Actually, no, the, the further one where I'm at. Yeah, okay. yeah, the further one, yeah. Roll damage. And uh, damage. Okay. Okay. Still up. A natural 20. Shot. All That's right. A critical, right? That is a critical. Now, the way I handle crits is I use the crunchy crit system. So go ahead and roll your damage. Oh, you oh, chose the critical, so I set it for it. So you oh. deal 82 points of damage with that shot. Hell yeah. Destroy <laughs> that. Yeah, that, the farther barbed devil, its head just <laughs> disintegrates off its shoulders. Ceases to exist. <laughs> I am providence to you, devil. It, it didn't zigzag. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's one remaining devil, and I believe you have two more attacks. Wait, I have three, a total of three. I have, I have like oh, then you have two. four more attacks. No, 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 hmm. no, no. I have three attacks per turn. Right, and I'm giving and you two, two turns worth of attacks. Oh, you are? Okay, okay, fair, You fair. have four attacks left. Okay, let's go. I don't expect this devil to survive. <laughs> Already. Uh, hold up. Bing, bang. Advantage. That hits. Damage. 32, all right. Straight through center mass. 22 hits. 22 points of damage. Okay. You have two more attacks. Another attack advantage. Damage. 24. Okay. 37 damage. Another last It is attack. still alive. Huh. Oh. Okay. 27 hits. This is going to be a short story. All right. <laughs> yeah, you destroy the final barb. He's from the scene. Fear me. Fear ribs. Uh, you can feel the ground shake at the tremulous de uh, declaration by the potent bush person. And that is the end of this combat. <sighs> oh. Um, I think they said, um, earlier in the fight that they, uh, hey, finish these guys off like the other ones or something like that. 
I'm looking around for what looks like the remains of other humanoids. Okay. Uh, roll perception. Oh, I'll roll for it. Ah, damn it. That one. That one. I plunk it. A five. <laughs> the smell's still in the air. That's in that one. Cat, <laughs> you look around. Man. Man. Bad stuff happened here. What's that arm looking thing in the distance? I'm gonna climb down and investigate it. Let's check that out. Okay. I'll walk around. Can I look <laughs> at what's inside these barrels and stuff? Uh you some of them like take some effort to open, and as you do, just rust just up into the air around you. It's, you, it's hard not to cough as this cloud of powdered iron oxide just kind of surrounds you. When you look inside them, there's nothing there. They're empty right. containers. And Gizmo scans kind of stuff? Or... Um, hold on I'm going to check out this container with Charles because I think that's what you want to do. Well, yeah, I was just, is it, I mean, is there anything in that, that large structure? Uh, so you can kind of see daylight peeking through cracks in the metal uh, and you see there's all sorts of wiring that looks extremely corroded and burnt. Um, there's some heavy equipment in there that looks like it has not worked for a long time. Okay. You want to uh, help me uh, see if we can salvage anything from this? Sure, sure. Uh, like a investigation check or something? Uh, yeah, I just want to... Of course, let's, let's try to can... open this jar of pickles. See if you can give me. Uh, I have a eight to an investigation, plus eight. Uh, okay. okay. Well, I'll help. I'll do a help action. Are you going to use any tools? To try and get into this. Uh, I have some tinkers tool. Well, uh, I have a bunch I, of tools actually. I know that um, big chest is my tool. <laughs> I, I have some tinkers tools and smith tools. Either would work for this. Okay. Um, would that be a check to? Try this would be, get into the go ahead and roll a tool check with advantage because you're being aided by Ari and Arno. Okay. Ari's trying to like brute force the door while you're tactically trying to open it. Uh, where's my tools? Would that be features? Uh, it would be. Uh, you click if you highlight if you hover inventory, be Tinker's tools. Just chilling there. Oh, okay. Uh, 17. Yeah, okay. Uh, with the aid of your allies, you managed to kind of get a sizable opening into what, where there must have been a, like a maintenance hatch or an access hatch on this thing. Uh, it, the hinges for it have long since been destroyed by weather. Uh, and the door kind of <laughs> falls away onto the ground. Uh, and you are looking into what smells like stagnant water and rust. Um, you're looking into a transformer box. Well, um, yeah, keep an eye out. And I'll explain, like, with the idea of, like, just good wires and machinery that uh, just look out for this, this, and this. And then if I could get the help help action for an investigation. Sure. Okay. Go um, ahead and roll investigation. Doo, doo, doo. With a 25, you don't really find anything worthwhile in this thing. Um, as you're okay. searching <sighs> inside this old, really broken down transformer box, you're, you're, peeling through the wires and equipment mm -hmm. you're pulling out parts with your pliers everyone else is looking in there and trying to help you and Harry you catch sight of something that you didn't quite see before but as Annika is like leaning in and out of the box the sunlight glints off of her armor in such a way that it reflects on an object and you see there is a laminated, laminated piece of paper tucked away in a corner inside that transformer box. Dog. Hey, there's a few pieces of paper in there. Oh? I... 
Annika's got like thick goggles on, rubber gloves, and just like working the tools trying to find something. But yeah. All right. You can pull the piece uh, of paper. Okay. Can cool. I um get Gizmo to uh scan this robotic arm looking apparatus? Uh Gizmo, who has been here the whole time, I swear. Um is next to you. Uh and he's looking <laughs> at this and he looks up at you uh and he says manipulation arm of tracking land harvester farm equipment agricultural mm. i see i see hmm. does gizmo have any other information on it broken understood understood <laughs> so a tracking so a harvester arm, I see. So there must be like massive harvesting mechs that they used. Hmm. Uh, what about this thing right here to the right? Piping. These... Yes. No relevant information available. And this last little bit? Uh, Gizmo looks down at it and then at you and says, Unrecognizable. Metal. Scrap. Iron, chromium, stainless. Chromium. Hmm. Looking pretty stained, I'll be honest. I see, I see. Gizmo does not react. <laughs> <laughs> and what's this uh, green thing here? Uh, it looks, um, you look at it, it looks like some rubbish plastic. Okay. Just some plastic. All right. Well, I tell the team about like this mech arm we found. Okay. Why don't you? Why don't Cap and Ribs? Why don't you both perform a perception check for me as you're looking okay. around out here? Sure. I'm looking specifically for a farming silo. You're looking off in the distance. Yeah, because there's farm equipment here, meaning that there's a farm nearby. Well, it was. Uh, your perception was a five, for. Okay. Oh, so, oh, okay. You said you said make a nod. That okay. That was for this immediate area, but if you're That's looking fair. more generally, uh, with a twenty-one ribs, um, yeah, you find on the ground here in the grass, kind of in these splotches where the green is just a little darker. Uh, it looks as though there's some residue, some maybe it's some grease, rock. or it's some substance. You're not sure what it is. Can we get you someone to scan it? Gizmo looks at you, uh, and you basically, you're asking this, this lifting dog to do shit it can't do. Uh, you, like, you tell it, scan substance, and Gizmo just kind of attempts Raiders. to pick it up. I, I just saw him do this, and then he just gone. Hello? <laughs> there he is, hi. Oh. Hello. Hi. Hello, um, Dungeon Master. Hello. Uh, yeah. Basically, Gizmo is like, I don't know what you want. <laughs> okay, fair, fair, fair. Hmm. Alright, I'll... I think it's all that we can glean from here. While Do you we guys see, like, are... any, like, mech, like, footprints anywhere? It's... So, the ground here is pretty torn up. Um, there's signs of the battle you just had. There's signs of other battles. There's signs of damage to the stone, the dead tree near you. Um... This place looks ravaged, so yeah. yes, all over the place. <laughs> I see, I see. Not useful information, basically. Got gotcha. you. So yeah, we're striking a battlefield. Yeah. Um, while you guys are discussing that, Arno, uh, mm -hmm. Ari, and Annika, you find this laminated parchment. When you look at it... Are uh, we in the building? It's not a building. It's, it's, oh. it's a big open metal box. It's scrappy. It's, it's scrappy. You don't want to be in it. Um, <laughs> yeah, but you see, there is a description. Uh, the even though it's laminated, there is some part of the wording that looks like some water might have gotten into the lamination and destroyed part of what's said here. Um, but you see, there is a marker, uh, and based on what you saw as you were coming down, it looks as though you're looking at a map. Uh, and beneath the water damage, you see the letters CP 
Pyle, West Further, uh, which the W in that word is capitalized. Huh. Oh, that water damage. Let me see if I have a rest racing kit. And um, I will create the right tool for the job as an artificer okay. to see if I can uh, that takes an fix hour. the water. Oh, it does? Never mind. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, have do you have mending? Would that work? I, 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 I do have mending, so I will say, oh, man, this is going to take forever. Uh, I, I think I have, some restora I have some restoration spray. <laughs> I got a towel. <laughs> oh, you want to use mending? Uh, you, I, got, I got mending, too, so if you want to oh, use perfect. mending. Have we looted all the dead bodies? They are deteriorating. Oh. Uh, to they are slowly evaporating and collapsing into this ectoplasmic muck. Mm. Uh, you don't think okay. that you're going to be able to get anything off of them. Um, well, I pet Gizmo. Uh, he doesn't seem to react. Understood. But, but maybe there is some subconscious approval. <laughs> 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 Robot dog. All right, uh, you guys ready to move, pack up, and move on soon? And you, you look over and you see them. They've got this parchment with like this plastic pulled off of it, and they have these two nodes that they're trying to repair the paper with. Um, <sighs> you're casting mending on this note. Yeah, see if we can repair the damage, the water damage. Yeah, you successfully remove all the water damage. There is no writing where the water damage was, because oh. mending cannot not restore very... writing. Right. Gotcha. That requires right. a much more potent ability that you would have read about in the books of your uh, a spell or ability known as legend lore. Well, that's a map, right? Uh, of sorts, of sorts. Uh, can I make a general intelligence check with my minus one to figure out what the, like, this thing says? <laughs> you could, yeah, I suppose you can try that. You can see what your character can piece together. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and roll. Oh. Actually, I'm going to ask you for a wisdom check. To try uh, wisdom? And, yeah, to try and uh, uh, interpret or extrapolate what maybe it, was, it would have... Um, I'll right, be fair, I'll keep the same rule, uh -huh. and I'll just, uh... Command said about maps, and I'll give him, uh, uh, guidance for this check. Nice. Do you have an additional 1d4? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you want him to just keep the rule and just add my different bonus? Uh, with a 3. Oh, it's, it'll be a 5 with a d4. <laughs> roll again. You can roll okay, again. Okay, gotcha. There we go. Let's, let's not waste our time here. Okay, so go oh, ahead and roll and add a d4 oh. to that. You might get something out of a 10. It's not a 10. I'm afraid you look at this, it's just ruined paper. It looks like a map of some kind. Uh, looks like there was probably more instructions written on it at some point, but it's gone. Can you say what's written on it again, please? CK, C -K, Pyle, Westerford. Westerford. Hmm. Is that the name of a city that's around here or something? Well, history check. Okay. Can I, can I roll this project as well? Yeah. Just as I walk over to the street. Maybe um, we should put some map data in Gizmo or something. Gizmo, okay. do you know the place name of this? Westerford? Uh, let me roll a... You're smarter than me, Gizmo. <laughs> Annika, one of the briefs that you've read about notable locations... Northwesterford was a trading post. I don't know anything about CK, but Northwesterford was a trading post. There might be something at this this place. Probably a stockpile. Uh, maybe. Is that over there then? Something. Final. Yep, let's go. I'm gonna walk to the base of the tree, and I'm gonna use one charge of no time my to waste. of my drone. To see if there's anything like hidden, uh, any doors or stockpiles, 
that would be probably maybe under this tree uh well the first thing you detect with the with your drone is a lot of residue uh specifically arcane residue you get the residue that happens after uh devils or demons are destroyed you sense a lot of the almost ethereal ephemeral carcass of both demons and devils see any demons so it's likely these devils came across you immediately after fighting devils. that's what you think uh, we got some demon residue over here looks like they just uh got rid of some a demon incursion hopefully no one will come back but we should probably move on are you other what? than that would it be would it be common for demons devils to fight upon the if the it, amaranth it, yeah at, right now and during this apocalypse if devils and demons came across each other they would beat the shit out of each other immediately yeah. and they okay. are that is happening all over the place gotcha all right um how, how long does beacon of hope last uh it's gone <sighs> So is my extra height. Yep. All right. Becomes small if I No. Before we head out, last for a minute. Um. Can I see if I can mend anything on my armor and stitch up these wounds for a little bit? Take a break. You want to take a small short break? Rest? I'm asking the party. Uh, if I'm yeah. okay with it, I'm gonna take a short rest before we go. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead. That's right. Let's go ahead and take a short rest, and for real life, let's go ahead and take a bio break. So, all right, give us ten, cool. fifteen minutes, and we'll be back. Ooh, I'll drink. Sounds like enough time for a roll of tanks game. You're a monster. I'm kidding. <laughs> you have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't. Oh, watch it cool up. Well, I'm gonna go walk and sleep in my bed out of frame. You guys can't see me. I think. I don't know. You can see me. Okay. Pay no mind to the man underneath the sheets. That was very fun. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Dude, Samurai is badass. He's getting. All this advantage on every attack and a turn. Oh Link God, established. Mic off. I am a fucking monster of bush, aren't I? Freaking bush with a gun. <laughs> Never seen anything like it. Right. Also, um, a quick heads up. I am very sorry about this. I thought I had uh, three attacks. Turn only have two attacks. Apologies. Isn't there one of them where you get rid of your advantage in one of your turns to get an extra attack? Wait, what? Samurai has the feature where they can get rid of one of the advantages they have and just get an extra attack. Link established. I think that's off. Level. Is that higher level? I don't, I don't know what level it is. You might want to check. Uh. Yeah, no, I just, I just, I just fucked up. I should have two attacks per turn. I apologize sincerely. Sage. Let, let's just uh, say well, I'm, a, I'm a mad have, bush or something. You have two points of exhaustion now. Just kidding. Yeah, yeah, two, two exhaustion. <laughs> Ugh. My uh, class, I'll have an answer if I'm, I'm going to be able to go over there in October uh, by this weekend. Oh, okay. Uh, bring some in and out. I want to get all the Scooby Snacks. 
all the Scooby snacks. All of them. All of it. Every single one. Every last over. Scooby snack. Buy my <laughs> dead berries. Cheese, paint them all over. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, I just really mm. wanted to be here to look at an edgy OP bush today, and I'm happy this is this happening. Yeah. Just uh, just push things, you know. Just push things. Yeah, just push. Basically, things. Just push things. The most powerful push in the galaxy. Just shrubbing everything off. Just shrubbing it all off. Yep. Every day I'm shrubbing. I'm shrub. I'm a shrubbery. Every day I'm shrubbering. Rubbish. I am the reason the Knights of Knee wanted a shrubbery. All gardeners must die. Nice back. Hi. Has Hello. anybody here watched Monty Python or? Nope. Okay. Uh, a couple times. Okay, fair. Do you remember the Knights of Knee? <laughs> Yeah, that's it's hilarious. been a, it's been a while since I've last watched it. Okay, it's the knights that say knee. Mm -hmm. The knights that say knee. They wanted a shrubbery from King Arthur or whatever his face was. <laughs> I am the sh I am the divine shrubbery. Oh, uh, what's that other what's the other movie? Uh Life History of I History of the World. Oh yeah, something like that. Yeah. Uh, that's that's one of my favorites too. Uh-huh. Do you guys pick us? What? Do we what? Hello? 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 What did Hi. he say? What did they say? Someday, class, I'm going to use this D&D &D cookbook and make some elvish meals. Someday, but not today. Wait. This is the official D&D &D cookbook, mind you. Oh my gosh. He's official. The official hero's feast. I can't wait to feast on the corpses of my bloody enemies, honestly. That's As bushes so do. So is your character a bush? My character is an awakened bush. Yeah, that, there's a picture of them in the dis and in, um, in this oh. dis Discord. Yeah, I made it in paint. It's really bad, but you get the idea from it. I absolutely love that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I want to be. I'm like a grizzled war veteran revolutionary who's a bush. I fought for like a <laughs> like, so like I was like exiled from my kingdom because like I was like, I was of like royal birth, but I didn't have like the red berries that everyone else in my family should have. We need to give you a, a blue bandana to like for Rambo style. Oh, I need one, yeah. This is such a good story, and I just want to know more. <laughs> oh, I, I tell you all about it. I'm, I might just write some more after I'm done. <laughs> Are you surprised to see Annika? Snow? Yes, I really like to see Annika. <laughs> She's cool. Link so, established. Uh, Snow my golf. here is one of my players in the in the Saturday campaign, and Echo is also a player. And uh, uh, his first character of the campaign uh, recently left uh, because he felt like the the character story was over and wanted to settle down. Well, Annika is the chi his childhood sweetheart. And they got they they got together, met up in a in, in a city, and they both are settling down together, um, in the story for the Saturday campaign. 
and she's level eight. So I thought, cool. It's a good. This is a good opportunity to <laughs> test out combat capabilities of the build. Yeah. Awesome. You guys having fun? It's yeah, lots backstories. of fun. My grizzled war veteran revolutionary bush backstory. Yes, I love it. Echo, we, I, don't, I don't know if you yeah, did it. Hey, actually. I didn't hear any of it. I think um, formally my um my character would be a a Dutch a duchess of the planet Veridi, but she was exiled because of what I just said prior, right? Our our she Duchess to... here has two attacks. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. That does make the combat a little bit easier. Yeah, I, I gave her three attacks in accident. That is my bad. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Not a big deal. I'll just say that you were you were extremely hyped. Yes. Uh, your character is particular. Two points of exhaustion. Yeah. Just, just hates devils so much. She raged. Yeah. They're the devil grass. <laughs> Let's say um. <laughs> Let's say the first party, like, uh, she was with, um, all her best friends, they died in, like, a clash with devils. So she has this, like, effervescent hatred for the devils that killed her original squad. Uh, but then, Good. after you've destroyed the bone devil, you feel much better. I feel Two. so much better. <laughs> I'm, a wicked trip, man. I'm ecstatic, honestly. I'm ready to kill some more. With two attacks, right? Really? With two rib. This, time. <laughs> this is ribbed, but you know, replace the man with the bush. Hell yeah! I love that. It's a perfect <laughs> representation. Uh. Also, I did get a World of Tanks game in. <laughs> Wow. You uh, may have a problem there, Zia. <laughs> uh, no, I, I just want Miss IS3. Like, I'm sorry. No, I get it. It's, it's a fun <laughs> game. Hey, uh, Charles, how are you liking uh, Rune Knight? How much time do we have left? I'm going to get some yogurt, actually. Um, <laughs> go ahead. Okay. Um, if, if I didn't roll natural ones, I'd love it. <laughs> Yo, I don't think you rolled anything above a five. That was, inc that was, that was insane. Mm-hmm. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully in the next encounters, you guys behave a little. I'm sorry, that's awful. <laughs> Fine. You know what, Charles? Mm -hmm. You've earned a consolation inspiration. <laughs> okay, thank you. A conspiration, as it were. Hear your pity. That's better than constipation. It certainly is. <laughs> trying to solve things not <laughs> do, I, do I give my character a short rest yep everyone's going to okay. take a short rest here before we move on to the next whoa oh oh dang ah uh, I accidentally pressed long rest well, uh, I you have a fourth level spell and a third level, third level spell and a first level spell off. Yeah. Uh, first level. First, third, and fourth. Oh, okay. I don't have any second level spells. <laughs> That's what really. Yeah, well, I mean, just cast your first one. Third. Third. I think I just forgot to put second level spells on there. I don't need them.
Zia returns, we can dive back into... Parents got a new dog today. Nice. Nice. Parents and dog pics. Is that good? Is that good? Yeah, it's good. Right. Got a new puppy, her name. Aww. <laughs> is the niece of the dog they just had to put. Aww. Yeah. What kind of dog is it? Uh, it's a doodle. It looks like labradoodle? a labradoodle. It looks like a not a labradoodle. Golden doodle. Say that doesn't work. I'll just post it. Guys, fucking fruit with like Greek yogurt and sugar is like my favorite thing ever. Oh, what kind of fruit? I just have raspberries. I have raspberries and prunes. Ah, you're doing. You're betraying your own kind by putting red berries? No, I'm not, bitch. I kill red berries, remember? They <laughs> exiled right, right, right. me. They exiled me for my blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> so many layers to <laughs> There yeah, are there layers. Is. I've tried a backstory. <laughs> Just like Aww. a good parfait. Damn straight. I have a whole character arc planned for my shrimp. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, wow, what a cute dog. Adorable. They're so cute. Name is Twitch. Adorb. Doop. <laughs> is she fluffy? Super fluffy? Yes. Is she derpy? I would totally. Oh. She looks so soft. And so, like, oh my god. I just want to pet her. Right now, three or she's three, three weeks old. The... Oh man, I bet wait, she's every. I bet she's into everything and everywhere. At the dog? Wait, where? Oh, oh, they have a picture there. Yeah. Oh damn. Wait, that dog is three weeks old. Yeah. Dogs grow up fast. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a doodle mix. I don't know what. If, uh, kind of looks like cookie dough ice cream. It is very sweet. Oh, uh, why not cookie dough for for? the name or cookie because i don't know i didn't name the dog <laughs> <laughs> that's my parents that's fair. dog <laughs> that's fair that's fair right we all back yeah okay, I'm, I'm here, here. Yeah. Ah! yes dark wolf you must turn to the battle stage. i'm back in chair okay i'm back I agree with that sentiment. As we return to our adventure, you all complete a short rest, repairing your armors, mending your wounds, gathering yourselves, uh, looking up into dimly orange sky. You have a point of reference. You have this uh, note that you found the Transformer crate. Um, and under your suspicions, you believe maybe there might be something at the location mark heading in that direction. Uh, whoever is leading, I'd like a survival check from you. Uh, not me. <laughs> I am. Let me get Great. that survival. Hell I'll yeah. Give you, can I give the help action or not? Nah? Yeah. You don't, oh, need, don't it. need it. That's a natural point. Don't need it. All the right. Bush leads the way. What Damn. the hell is with your rolls? <laughs> As you guys are making your way, following what few trails that are maybe they're the remains of old roads that have been destroyed by battle. Maybe they are paths that were carved by the people that you or all of this trodden in. You're following direction westward. Northwest. And on the horizon, 
Ribs, you see something coming into view as you climb a hill. What do I see? At first, it appears to just be like a almost a, a triangle, basically. Oh. But as you get more and more over the hill, that's what you see. Oh. I. I think we I'm like, hey something. guys, look. There's a city over there. It looks more wow. like a single structure. That. Wow. I say that instead. As we're approaching, can I just keep an eye out in case we're getting encroached on? Yep. Looks like a what, what structure? It's just like a single structure. In the middle of a barren field. With a 16 on perception, first thing you notice is you don't think this always was a barren field. You're looking around, and you see that there are mounds of dirt where there are just the peaks of rusting iron are resting, and it looks as though this entire, like, wind has swept dirt and grass over fallen equipment, supplies, vehicles. It looks as though maybe there was some terrible explosion or huge, almost unfathomable battle happened here that was forgotten decades ago. You don't mm. see anybody approaching. It's not yet. You, you can see for quite a ways now that you're on the top of this hill crest. You don't see anything moving. Um, you said there was vehicles. Can I try to check out one of them, see if the battery's running? You can't even... They're submerged in earth. Oh, okay. They're like caked down. Okay. Yeah. Okay, no point of digging them out then okay gotcha uh then yeah just stick with the group as we walk forward okay let's try to move up quietly as quiet as we can um er, um, the building in the picture looks pretty intact i mean does it look like that uh it look not really it looks dirtier than that it looks weathered um it's untouched (laughs) Like abandoned. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. That's right. Okay. So we're still. Aaron, let, let me see if I can help you out with that armor. Um, yeah. All right. You, you were you were a bit loud last time. <laughs> I definitely was. I did not expect stealth to be it, something that we would be doing. <laughs> Is there any way I can negate uh, the disadvantage of heavy armor? You can provide her advantage by helping, but she still has disadvantage, so you give her a straight roll. Okay, I would like to do that, if at all possible. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Why doesn't everybody roll stealth? That's good. Yeah, two. Okay, so it cancels out. Yeah. Standard oh. flat still. Oh. Cat. I have a plus five. <laughs> As I'm helping Ari, I look straight at Cap. Uh, cap. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, because you helped me be very still. Oh, uh, boy. My uh, doesn't even give this advantage. <laughs> I just rolled shit. <laughs> me. I'm a bush. Uh, ribs is positively indeterminate from the other few shrubs and foliage you can see may- managing to grow on this wasteland. Um, aside from that, though, Annika, you are the only one that you feel confident in actually being discreet. Uh, even Eri, with your help, she does a good effort of it, but her metal, the sabatons of armor just scrape with quite a little... As she's walking <laughs> over the ruined ground. Uh, and Arno is trying to be quiet, but... <laughs> you know, hard to be quiet. Uh, when you're you're on the verge of coughing all the time. Just from the putrid air filled with rust. Um, I'm just humming. What? Out loud. You, 
Uh, yeah, I was going to say, the icing on top is Cap, who doesn't seem to be trying to be quiet. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe he has a song stuck in his head. As you guys approach this structure, allow me to show you what it looks like. Ooh, fancy, fancy nice. doors. Oh, you got walls and fox of war. Yes. You are approaching this structure, and it is... It looks like it hasn't been touched in decades. Um, there are doors. One of them appears to have a cracked window that you can... You can see dusty, like, light reflecting. Uh, and there are clearly signs of damage... Um, as bits of the roof that extends over the overhang have fallen down. It is worn, and for the most part, it looks like no one's been here in years. Mm-hmm. How do you approach? If you Well, approach. since I got a seven, uh, I just... <laughs> Unless anyone else wants to stop me. <laughs> Just yeah. going forward. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Hmm? What's up? Love. Uh, huh? Just go ahead. We'll back you up. <laughs> and you. <laughs> oh, that froze. There we go. The front door's always the place that you gotta go. Um, okay. I cast light on my um staff. Okay. Uh, Dan high alert team. It's not super it's dark. Hot. It's like late afternoon at the moment. Uh, you arrive in front of a metal portal. Door is locked. Uh, it seems sturdily built. Um, and it looks as though Ribs is going to pierce it. You want to pierce? Oh, oh you just, no, I think you just, just, I just your feet. tagged the thing. Okay. Um, I was, that was jarring. As you approach the door, you can see that the frame is made. This, These walls look as though they're a composite of metal and concrete. The structure is very well built. Um, can I determine maybe uh, an age or uh, like the style that this would have been? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, why don't you just Oops. roll me a, a history check? Okay. 17. The way the framework around the door is built, the materials, how they look like they've worn over time, you think the structure has been untouched, but is well over 60 years old. This might be a stockpile. It's it's pretty old. Um, and I'll whip out a multi-purpose tool. Do you Always mind if I try to open up the lock? Take your time. As I check this stuff over here. When you get okay. close to the door, Monica, the door clearly has seen people attempting to. There are scrapes and scratches on the iron that look as though people have tried to force their way in. There is burn, like a, almost like a scoring, a carbon scoring base in the door. Like somebody tried to detonate them. They did not get in. Okay. Um, gonna check for any security systems first. Uh, roll investigation. You see that there are signs of a trap that have, they're not there anymore. Uh, there are mounting points for what looks like a tripwire trap. The sort that if you manage to get a door open, it, it would set something off. It has been removed. All right. Uh, are th- is there any uh, kind of panels or like a of clear lock that I could maybe and you know try Roll to a pick? Perception check. <laughs> like there is a lock. Uh, it is an old analog archaic lock, uh, which is. Okay, you're getting what I'm telling you. You see that there is a lock on the door uh, that looks as though it was manipulated by a mechanical key. Okay. Uh, I do have thieves' tools. 
Okay. You're gonna try to um, pick the lock. Roll me thieves tools. So I can tell you this is going to be difficult. Guidance? Yeah, you can give guidance. Okay. Well, we'll who, who was able to do that? Annika. <laughs> I would. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Actually. Um. This door looks pretty heavy. Um, Arno, would you help me open it if I get it open? Oh, certainly. Yeah. Um, can I have that help help action with this? Uh, or... uh, Arno, are you proficient in sleight of hand? Um, I have advantage in all my sleight of hand um, checks, but I don't have proficiency in it. Doesn't cut it, I'm afraid. Okay. Uh, it's going to require a rogue, someone proficient in sleight of hand, or someone with thieves tools, basically, to help you. Will you accept? Uh, will you accept half proficiency? Yeah, yeah I, will. <laughs> I got you. All right. Uh, <laughs> um, I am actually not proficient in sleight of hand, but I have proficiency in thieves tools. That's that counts. So. That will okay. Help. That that means you literally are proficient in the tool needed to do. Gotcha. Um, it's not on my sheet, so I'll just do Tinker's Tools. Old man. Because it, it uses uh, dexterity. Old man um, like technology is something. And then I will go. Let's see. Twenty six. Takes time. Takes well over a minute. This is the hardest Ooh. lock you've ever gotten into, on it. for sure. The tumblers are heavy. They haven't moved for a very long time. At first, you're not even sure if you're getting the pins to move. You can't feel as though there are springs, and you logic out, rusted, the springs aren't moving at all. So once you figured that out, you just begin to try and set them where you think they ought to be for a minute of trial and error. Finally, all of you hear this very telltale <laughs> as the lock is. Hells yeah. DC was 25. Ooh, oh, oh. <laughs> that lock <laughs> hasn't been opened yeah. by someone in about 50 years. Yeah, Maybe tell me it. about it. Let me hear it. The door doesn't open. Okay, we need a strong man now. Well, I have a rifle. But we also the have a strong man. Um, I, I don't know if we want to destroy this in case this is something we I want to do. <laughs> I, you can kick I also it? kick it at the no, same I time as him? <laughs> wait, let me move out of the way. <laughs> I don't <laughs> wait. <laughs> Cap, you, I can't move. you lurch oh. forward and you perform like a donkey kick trying to get this door open and all of you hear yeah. just this <laughs> and your foot hurts as the door does not budge. Oh, oh, I'm on the ground holding it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like it'll reflect my anti-matter rifle. Don't want to try on the other foot. <laughs> Is it so? It's an athletics check. Uh, you <laughs> you <laughs> can choose <laughs> to attempt this with an athletics check. Uh, okay. So a twenty-six. Does anybody help? Cap. Um, absolutely. I also kind of want to kick the door. I need an athletics check from you as well. All, All right. right. Oh, oh, this isn't gonna work uh, as well. Am I able to move out of the way so they yes, can do this? Yes, you can move out of the way. That's not very good. Uh, no. There's nothing else we can do? I So if you're going to attempt to brute force your way through this door, I'm there is a number to hit in order to force it open, and a 26 it's, plus it's a 13 a is not high it. enough. Oh, God. Uh, so um, um, wait. How about this... How about this rubble over here? Is there anything we could use as a battering ram? Yeah, you could probably use something like that as a battering ram. That's a good hey, idea. Hey, Gizmo, do you have a battering ram? Gizmo looks Wait, at hold you. on, hold on. Uh, okay. I, I'll move, a, I, I can't move my character, but I will go over to the um, the pile over there and see if there's like a, a long piece of wood. Would... Uh, there is lots of concrete and rebar. Um, Maybe you do I find... can shoot it. Good. You find a chunk of rebar that has a large block of concrete on the end that you think would likely serve as a suitable battering ram. I'll take the it. Game is okay, paused. I'll bring it on over. Oh, the game is paused. 
can do that. Yeah, that, 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 yeah that's okay. My mistake. Uh, and uh, I... let's see. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me see, let's see how this door opens. Um, can I see how the so door Ribs opens? So Ribs shoots or... it. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh... Oh, no, I duck. <laughs> Whatever Shit. this door is, you hit the door. Um, Ribs, I need a dexterity saving throw. Okay, I'm... Oh. Holy shit, oh, no. The dex okay. is... The DC is 12. Bomb on this thing and didn't open. Okay, deck saving, saving throw. Deck saving throw. Um, where, where are the saving throws? Attributes? Yeah. Uh, 21. You fire at the door already wary. You're like, Poof, and when you fire, your fear is confirmed as the antimatter slug. Uh, seems to ricochet at a perfect angle off the door, direct, directly back toward you. You hit the dirt. But I dodge it. Yes, you do. You are not hit by your own slug. Thank I God. Guess, I guess I should have mentioned that there's score marks here, so it's pretty tough. Yeah. Why don't you roll me a history check, uh, Annika, now that you've okay. seen how the door behaves. Can I try to pull open the door instead of pushing it? <laughs> Man. No, it's the same. It's okay. just one of the new fancy it's doors not a that pull. go up instead of out and in. As a DM, that would be a pretty douchey way to <laughs> keep a I door just from thought, I mean, it'd be funny. Uh, with a 27, Annika, you recognize that this door is the same sort of alloy they used to make hearth. It is a titanium manganese alloy that reflects vibrations. Um... Yeah, we're not blasting in anytime soon or kicking in. It's made of... Give me another hour. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not going to work. We need to figure out how it opens. Or, uh, she'll look around the corner. Is that like an opening over here? That is a loading port. You see that there are doors that look a lot like the one you're trying to get into. Uh, okay. But they... Never mind then. <laughs> I'd like to try, actually, I would like to try using the, the battering ram. Does someone want to get on the, um, like, kind of, we can do it together? Yeah, I'll help you. Okay, well, well, go ahead. Is this a, and is what, this what's a, skill? this is going to be athletics. And you can, both of you roll athletics for me, and you can add 10 to your result using a battering oh. ram. Okay. Is it a hinge, is it a hinge door, or is it a slide? It's a hinge like door. It slides. Okay. okay. I was about to say, I think it's a, I think it's a slide door. Oh. 23? And 23. Uh, you needed to hit 50, and that's a 46 oh. plus 10. Damn it. You wait, wait. It. Oh, it's plus not plus 10. 10 for both of us. Yeah. Yes, yes, it is. So the total oh, you so rolled is 56. Yes. I can you, help, but I'm not very... The door strong. is suddenly just... Whatever it was that was keeping it closed, you all hear this as the roof was crushing the door down into the ground. And as the battering ram slams into it, the door bends just a little bit, and then it just opens inward. Oh. Okay, let's well check done. it out. It's moved. I, I, at half movement, I slowly walk in with everyone else as my feet you are just... You enter pumping. a small room that looks like it used to have furniture in it. There are there dust, is. there are dust ghosts all over the wall and the floor, um, and there is another door in this room, but it is uh, a much uh, less intense door. It looks more like the sort of door you would see uh, on the inside of a house. Gizmo in here. Annika will uh, <laughs> let let Gizmo in, and then gently close the door behind. Uh, Gizmo nice. says, "Nitrogen gas detected." Oh shit! I take shallow breaths. Um, is the door locked? This one is yes. Wait, nitrogen is harmful, right? Mm. Nah, really. Like nitrogen isn't going like to hurt you. Not correctly. You don't want to um, breathe. Can we open the door it's back? Great for me. Can we, can yeah, we open the door to the outside back open? <laughs> yeah, you can. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, we want to leave it open a crack. Um, I want to breathe. Yes. 
Yes, <laughs> me too. Of course. Uh, okay, you open the door again. Gizmo doesn't is, react. <laughs> is it? Is it my turn? Here? Do I? Should I? Do some more right. picking, Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Okay. So you look at this door. You see it is it is much less intense than the door that was outside. You see that the door that outside was airtight. Uh, this one looks more like a household door. Gotcha. All right. Um, well, traps first. Investigate. Twelve. Okay. It's good. Any traps. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, and then uh, Annika will pull out that all-purpose tool, um, and she'll be muttering herself like how to pick locks, and give herself guidance for the next one, the next this lock picking. Twenty-two. You unlock the door. Uh, as you unlock the door, it's much easier to unlock. Uh, and in fact, as you finish it, it seems as though whatever bolt was holding the door shut, it just kind of er, creaks open a little bit. Uh, which means I need a strength saving throw from you, Annika. Ah, okay. It was trapped. Your muscles. <laughs> yeah, of course Your it was. Muscles. Fireball in the whole room. We all die. <laughs> Nine. Oh. I agree. So, what happens is, all of you watch as as the door opens, these two outlets that are in the door frame, suddenly just this thick white foam just <laughs> all over Annika. Um, and Annika, you are restrained. Oh, no. Uh, you suddenly no, cannot move, and you are completely submerged in this thick white foam. Oh I no! Start, I start using my great sword to cut it <laughs> to get him out. Uh, it He's reflects drowning. your blows. Oh god! Uh, <laughs> you you swing oh, your great sword at this foam, and you hear like you in the foam hear this <laughs> as something hit the foam. Uh, you can breathe, you just can't move. I'm just uh -huh. gonna try to rip it off as like everyone else tries to get inside. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I need you. I need you to make a con save, Monica. Uh, As this foam has encapsulated you, uh, you can feel it tingling on your skin where it does touch it. You almost feel where it's touching is like growing lethargic. But that's a successful con save, uh, so you do not gain a point of exhaustion. Okay. So I'm trying to rip like this thing off its mouth off their mouth so they can breathe. <laughs> okay. Uh you dig your fingers into the foam. Uh roll me a con save. <laughs> I'm the shirk. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, good. You you grab a big handful of the foam and it's tough, but you're strong. You manage to yank and you get like a good handful of it removed and you can see Annika's face. Okay. It's like, uh, it's like King Kong glue, like shit. It's like oh, uh, think like damn, extremely this gorilla company ad adhesive foam that has a neurotoxin in it. Uh, Ow. Oh uh, wait. Oh, okay. Uh, if it's poison, I'm uh, I get advantage. Uh, I'm safe. It's not poison damage. Ah, uh, okay, gotcha. Uh, it's. You also succeeded anyway, so it doesn't yeah, matter. Right. I, I, I was just saying for like future reference. Uh, so yeah, Annika, right you feel yourself completely restrained. Uh, what does everybody do as Annika is blobbed? I'm I, well. They can walk inside. I'm gonna slowly try peeling them, peeling off the foam off of them. Okay, it's gonna take. Get, it's gonna be a process. Yeah, I was uh, gonna, I'm like, gonna help with that. that. I'm just can I get the completely still? All right, Arno, <laughs> what are you saying? Oh, just I, I'd like to get some of the stuff that's been pulled off. And um, like pull out a torch or something and see if it lights on fire immediately. <laughs> and uh, it's and it's it... very energetic. It's energetically flammable. Please don't do that. Okay. To me. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that's what. <laughs> that's why I tested it first. Okay. Th thanks. 
you Roll actually your see off. um you're looking at the foam and you're looking at Annika completely surrounded in it and you can mm -hmm. see that there is another nozzle toward the bottom of the door that appears to have malfunctioned Oh no! <laughs> oh no! You bastard! <laughs> oh. Can we, like, sh sh can we shoot this phone? No, I shouldn't. You could! No, I'm ripping it off. No. <laughs> no! No, ripping it off. Okay. Okay. How many con saves do you want? Uh, no. So... no, 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 no! Ribs, please don't. <laughs> Can we Roll. wear gloves and, and not get affected? So it's extremely, it's it's very moist, and it will it will Ooh. eventually, yes, moist. It will eventually moist. penetrate your gloves and any clothes you're wearing. Uh, okay. So moist. it will help, but it won't solve the problem. Uh, so uh, this is going to be a contest of, it's basically going to be strength contest versus the neurotoxin. Um, Annika, you're not moving, right? No, I'm saying completely still. Okay. Every I need two people to declare that they're assisting and feeling this up. I need no strength Ar Arno on me. Will. Good luck, guys. Okay. Arno and Cap. Both of mm -hmm. you roll me strength. Not athletics. Mm. Just raw strength? Yes. So from checks. Okay. I wonder... I, I couldn't absorb elements. You quick, touch me and give me guidance. Not really. <laughs> Okay. It's not like poison damage. It is drawing. It is fatiguing you. Uh, nah. It is. It, it is forcing lactic acids into your muscle. Um. Fuck that. Yeah. Ugh. So. Pleasant. Yeah, you guys. You over the next two turns, I need two con saves at advantage from Annika. Okay. Six. Cap, you, do, you uh, okay. 17. Annika, you are pulled from the toxic foam. Uh, Arno, I need a con save from you. All Success. Right. You guys managed to navigate this trap with no real harmful. Hell yeah. I uh, immediately just go through the door and just get away from all the phone, shake off. Oh, all right. I as, gotta be more careful. As you were pulling the foam off of Annika, it was getting harder and harder to. And when you finally emerge from it and step away, it's basically like stone. Looks like works. there's another door, friend. I'm gonna now that, take one now of my spare it's stone, will it... No, it's what? Now that it's stone, will it seep? Will it continue to seep through our cl uh, gloves and clothes and stuff? No. Once it's fully hardened, it's harmless. It I'm seems as though. Okay. It seems as though this was a pacification trap. Okay. Um. As a uh, as like it's all hardened, made into rock. Basically, I'm gonna put in my extra backpack and carry it for now. Okay. There's a lot. I want to get enough for a backpack. Okay. You get about twenty pounds of. Neurotoxin yeah, foam. <laughs> very flammable <laughs> neurotoxin foam. It is very flammable. I'll give you that. What color is it? Uh, Magenta. just it's slightly <laughs> off white. Oh like a, my! Oh, it's like, oh, like a lot oh. green. <laughs> closer no. to beige. Closer to beige. <laughs> so you're oh, really green. You're really packing your an entire backpack full of that stuff instead of food. I mean, we don't know what's in here. Might as well use it as a weapon in case. I can throw that away. <laughs> I think you just turned yourself into a walking weapon. Okay. Uh, you guys, <laughs> you enter the room. You enter what looks like a large storeroom. This room is full of massive crates. There, There's pouches and bags, and all of it looks like it hasn't been touched in decades. And it's all sealed. It is eerily quiet in here. There is no motion of air from outside to in. The air in here smells stale. And Gizmo warns, Nitro nitrogen levels elevated. Well, mm, fine. Okay. Um, Humanoid life forms cannot sustain themselves on nitrogen. We saw, we saw those doors up here, so I'm gonna try to head up here fast. 
Okay. And try to see if we can unlock them. Uh, yeah, that's a simple. Let it air out. It's a simple bar on this side of things. It's a simple yeah. bolt, yeah. basically. That you can unlock it. So as much as all these doors, I'm gonna try unlock so we can get an air. Yeah, they all in. they all unlock. Yeah. There we go. Uh, and when you open them, it's like a huge loading door that just <laughs> up into the root, up into the ceiling. Okay. I'm gonna keep watch while uh, they look the crates. Hey, could we call the ship over here and then load the crates into it? Uh, well, first let's check what's in the crates. You're right. Uh, uh, no point yeah. in wasting fuel. Also, let's go further right. in first. We can always right. come back. Charles, uh, well, it is not the structure yes. from Halo. I just saw your question. <laughs> it just, it looks like one of the s structures. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> maybe maybe before we start checking things, maybe we should clear the whole entire building first. That's also mm -hmm. true. Um, I want to give a quick check real quick. Did I see anyone out there? No. No, no. Okay. Gotcha. Back with the group. Another door. There is that door. uh airing it out will help out, hopefully. Alright. Who has keener eyes than I do? Because I missed that trap. Is it uh investigation or perception? Investigation if I perhaps. I oh, have I am blind. I am blind. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I'm not the best int. Who has the who has some good int here? Uh, I I, I don't care. Has a twenty. <laughs> um, I think you're probably so, the best pick. Yeah, I I, I just rolled pretty crappy, and I, I want I don't want to roll any. I don't want to roll crap um, again. What what does insight do for us? Insight, uh, yeah. you can see if Annika's lying to you. Oh. I see. <laughs> okay. Investigation. Annika, are you more. lying to us? <laughs> All right. I, I guess I'll give myself a D4 looking for traps. Okay. Go for it. Roll if, investigation. If he's taking time, I will like try to crack open one crate or with you. Nice. Okay. Same here. The tr the crates are extremely well sealed. They appear as though they are electrically welded shut. It's fucking <laughs> hell, dude. <laughs> it is going to take it's going to take some cutting tools to get into one. Uh, I was going to try to poke it with my spear, but I guess not. Do they have any labels on them? Like, I don't know. Yeah, no. they, uh, go ahead and roll. Go ahead and roll an investigation. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll give the help action on that one. Annika with a 23. There are no traps on this door. At least not from this side. Hey, does it look locked? <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's a simple click. Like, you, you have access to the locking mechanism on the side of the door. Oh, I will unlock it then. Unlocks. You are greeted with uh, a room that looks as though the ceiling has been crushed in on itself. Um, why don't you roll a perception for me? Okay. Uh, and then... Oh, that's persuasion. My bad. You can't talk it out of any. Harry <laughs> Bush has locked in. As, yep. With a 16, Annika... It looks as though there used to be a desk in this room, but it's completely covered in rubble. Um, you do see a corner of parchment that looks remarkably well-preserved. Ah. I'll go try to salvage it. It's on a board, uh, and it is pinned beneath some rubble. It is simple enough for you to get it loose. Uh, it is a manifest. See, there is a list of things on it that look like they are due to go certain places that do not exist anymore. Oh. Uh, it is a manifest for 52 tons of oats. Oats. That um, is a lifetime supply. Hey, everybody. The oats. Hey, everybody, come, come look at this. I'll, okay. I'll like present it. Okay. Should we uh, call over the ship, uh, uh, Commander? I'm. I've been here the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm asking you. Are you going to call over the ship? <laughs> oh. Um. <laughs> I don't think we're. I don't think I should call it yet. I think we, we should, should go a little further in, personally. Oh. Um. There is no further. Oh, there's, there's, a door. there's no door. I. <laughs> 
It's, Lord, it's use the, the search. <laughs> it's oh. the other side of the building. It's not supposed oh. to be there. I see. Uh, uh, I see. <laughs> okay. Well, does Gizmo I guess... have a wait? Gizmo, do you have a cutting tool on you for like cutting through metal? Negative. Yeah. Um, would a carbon knife do anything? Uh, you could try. Um, uh, <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to play with electricity. electricity no, it's hurt. like. No, it's, it's not like electrically charged. It was just welded with a very powerful welder. Oh, okay. Well, l let me try hitting this with my carbon um, knife at some angle. Okay, which okay. container? This container I'm right in front of. Okay, this big crate. All right, go ahead yeah. and roll me an attack. All righty. Uh, let's see. Inventory. Cobalt knife. It's oh, a cobalt equipped. knife. Yeah. Everyone gets cancer. <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, hold on. Let hey. me equip it for you. Yeah, I got it. I don't have, like, enough, a lot of damage on it or whatever. It's it's mainly for just a role play. Sure. How do I... So, if you oh. click on your your token, in the top left, you'll highlight inventory. You can see cobalt knife. Available. Yeah. All right. Boom. Roll an attack. All right. 27. To hit. Yeah, that hits. Real damage. I mean, yeah. Uh, as the nano fight, the nanotube edge of the knife leaves into great, you all hear this <laughs> as some sort of gas pressure is. Uh, and then you all smell this kind of rainy, popsy smell. It smells like oats. I guess they weren't wrong about the oats. Um, Dude! Like... These two crates look different. Can I get a look on these? Or is it still oats? <laughs> it is a sealed crate. I think we can safely assume it's all oats. It's all oats. Now, all you guys casual. know that the High Sally can lift two tons of story. Okay. There's 52 tons, according to them. And based on how many crates are in here, that's probably accurate. I'm gonna go ahead and call the ship using the what item? The the box. Sending box. Using okay. the sending box. You pull out the okay. sending box. Beep beep. I am uh, transmitting a message to Corley. Right. Or... So go ahead and tell me what it is. All right. We found uh, multiple tons of oats here at another location. I would like you to bring the ship over. We're gonna take two tons of the oats back home. All right. All right. Give me a heading. Heading. Where do I go? Uh, can, do you know where my sending box is? Can you, like, find the location? That would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> Gizmo, do you know coordinates? Uh, Gizmo looks at you and says, We map. are at 372.83.29 north by 476 by 53 by 82 east. Thank um, you, Gizmo. Can you send that, to, um, can you send that th into my sending box? I, and send I heard that him. To our... I, I heard right, him. I'm on my <laughs> Solid, solid. Thank you very I love much. Cordley. Cordley, he's just like I'm. I'm too old for this. <laughs> uh, Wait, um, that's not far. I'll be there in a few minutes. All right. Very good. Keep in mind. Well, we might have company if I'm flying low. Oh. Stay safe. We're on the line with you. I'll do my best. We better load this quickly, though. You understand all what right. I mean? And be ready. Okay. Well. While he's coming, I'm going to uh, try to get my bag of holding full of at least 500 pounds of oats. I mean, it's a bag of holding. You totally can do that. There is a crate a crate that has been, its seal has been popped. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you can take, you can just dunk the bag of holding in it and just start scooping <gasps> oats. Hell yeah. That's, That's really cool to imagine, like, happening. Yeah, it's just like, it seems to be spilling into this abyss <laughs> so yeah. I guess I'm just I'm looking at the sky looking for uh, signs of our ship in the air okay roll me a perception you can watch of things outside Alrighty. by the way great job today team impeccable retrieving uh while that is happening Annika mm -hmm. has climbed up on the crates and further in to this arm of the building 
And now she'll use the drone of secrets. Okay. Oh, good plan. Uh, let me get that perception oh. from you first here. Oh, you got a ten. Okay. Yeah, not too great. No, that sees something. As the high Sally is approaching, uh, you guys did not actually travel all that far from where you did. This structure was just nestled in Bravas, where you couldn't really see it from the air. Uh, and the high Sally is it's approaching. You see something else rising around the hills that you are nestled in. You see smoke rising as if in a circle. And you believe... Ickle? Ah, uh, shit. shit. <laughs> oh. Um, I, I notify um, the navigator about this vehicle we might be seeing. All right. Great. I I see... Three land vehicles. Looks like they're coming in a circular formation. Have this they is... detected you? I mean, everything's detected me. I'm in a, oh, sh I'm in a spaceship. <laughs> it's not quiet, if you don't remember you that. You might be far away. Whatever. You it's see fine. that the High Sally is coming down as you're having this conversation. Oh, and he says, well... It uh, looks like we're going to have a loading under fire, or at least a loading with company. Uh, All right. Well, I tell the team to get outside quickly. We might have to, like, get some heat going. What uh, side? Uh, you see that they're coming from the left side of the screen. Which is the east. <laughs> left is east. Uh, hi, Sally. As it is approaching... Can't seem to get it to enter the ramp. Here it is. Oh, good. Uh, it is descending, and as it is, you all suddenly realize you can hear the loud sound of engines. They are bouncing off of the mountaintops, uh, and what might have been a dull, just a low thrum in the background, is now just a very loud as all these. Petrol powered vehicles are coming up and around the structure. Uh, the High Sally is coming in and is. Uh, it sees the structure, and you can see the High Sally is reversing its aft end around in order to line up the rear of the, the, the loading hatch with the loading doors. Um, inside, Gizmo uh, begins the process of lifting crates. Uh, with his magical, basically anti-gravity field, aka Tensor's floating disc. While that is happening, these vehicles are approaching fast. Uh, and in this moment, I need to know exactly what you guys are doing. Annika, oh, you're, yes. Annika you're searching for secrets? We're defending yeah. the ship as My drone loading. is loading. Scanning, right. uh, is, is scanning this area around me. Um... Okay. In a 30 foot uh, circle. Does it penetrate uh, any subsurfaces? Um, let me check the item. Um, you said they come from the left. Is that straight from the left? They are coming. Uh, the high Sally came from the left. The vehicles he's described to you are approaching in a circular formation. So. It seems as though they are circling the structure. Oh, that would have been nice. How many? Secret door or trap? Oof. I'll guard this side then. Uh, stay alert, stay alert. Does it penetrate? I ready my antimatter rifle. The one pulses and points at the one nearest to you. One regains. Mm. You're over here. Hold on. No, you don't detect anything. The drone does not seem to find anything. Um, all right, then I'll brace back up across the uh, 
crates again. Why won't I do that? And that's my movement. <laughs> if they're if we're being uh, you are around. You, you are in a hurry. Um, okay. Those of you who are outside, you see uh, coming around, the sound is echoing off the mountains. It's hard to tell exactly where it's coming from, but emerging from behind the structure, you see this large, laden, armored truck emerging. Uh, and you can see that in the back of the truck is a mounted gun that has an oh, individual God. wearing all, like, armor straight out of Mad Max. Just mm. a full helmet mask with, like, a huge grin with teeth painted on it. Uh, and you can hear uh, just this, as the engine just... <laughs> you hear... <laughs> as a weapon is charged. Uh, we're going to roll initiative here in one second. Before that, I'm going to give each of you one th an action, basically. Uh, a preparatory action, as you did Thank have you. a warning. So what do you guys do? I light a torch. Okay, you light a torch. <laughs> I have a bomb on my back. <laughs> <laughs> he does! Okay. Um, I... Do our ships have guns, by the way? The ship has a single... Uh, laser cannon on the top of it that is it's not great but it does exist okay I I um, ask um, I ask our navigator to um, ready the weapon system and prepare to provide supporting fire right I'll do my best We're, it's they're below me I can't really whatever fine just protect the ship <laughs> Am I, am I able to carry the door that had um, that we broke in? Are you able to carry the door? It's yeah, still on back. its hinges. It's not. It's it not is still on off. its hinges, but like if you could remove it from its hinges, I would say yes. Hold the door. <laughs> I'm gonna go over to the door and see if I can uh, take it off its hinges. Do you okay? So you know if you took the pins out of the hinges, you could just okay. walk off with the door, but that would take a minute. Oh, okay. If you're going to try um, and do it quicker than that, you force is an option. Yeah, I'm going to go with force. Okay. Uh, and what kind of force? How would you do this? Uh, uh, maybe uh, like lift the door slightly a little bit, maybe to hopefully, I don't know, do something with the pins. And then um, just kind of pull it, um, I mean, perpendicularly off the axis of the door. Where, where, uh, how it I works. see. Okay. Um, give me an athletics check. Okay. Ugh. 13. That is just, Ugh. it's not going to cut it, I'm afraid. Um, even That's though fine. the door was damaged and the hinges were compromised by the fact that you guys did break the door when you got it loose from the roof, um, it's just it's they're just a little too sturdy for that to work. Okay, and do I do I have time to try to pull the pens out? Uh, it's gonna take like a minute of dedicated work to remove the pins. Will the will the truck be here before that? The truck is gonna be here next round. Oh yeah, then never mind. Okay, okay. I'm done with that. Okay. I respect the idea. Unfortunately, it's just not enough time. You're for like that. Captain America. This That's one, you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ari. I would like to cast Guardian of Faith. Okay. Where? Um. Uh, how do I target a spot? Just uh, uh just hold, click on it. It'll ping. I think you can hold action, just put it wherever the truck stops. Oh, um... If it stops. That's true. <laughs> just no, it... also, it, it goes off again if they uh, move. Uh, yeah, just, like, here, I guess. Okay. Uh, Yeah, we can just plop him right down there. All right. 
That's an angel. Oh, God. <laughs> Guardian of Faith. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Ah. I'm, I'm still needing to get better at like describing spells. You're fine. Oh it's shit. All good. That's why I have no spells. That guy looks strong. Uh, he he does a specific amount of damage and then pisses off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I uh, mean, if someone's gonna point a gun at anyone, oh yeah, he's super useful. Um, <laughs> okay, <laughs> you cast Guardian of Faith, and this entity just whoosh, just appears, massive weapon in hand, uh, and says, uh, "Your enemies are my enemies." And that's all he does. He just exists there. Uh, Indeed they are. Next. Ribs. Preparatory yeah. action. Mm, how so wait, where where are they attacking? They there is a vehicle approaching from all the way down here. Okay. Oh that's the vehicle. Okay. Oh, oh I yeah. see it. You oh. also hear the engines of other vehicles, so it seems as though that's just the first one on the scene. Okay, I think I'm going to like Go, can I go here? Like, is hold up. Um, can I go here to this tile? Yeah, you can. Okay. Let's sprint over there and take cover behind the crate. Okay. You do that. Yep. Uh. Next. I think that's everybody, unless I'm missing someone. Gizmo. <laughs> Uh, can I have an action, or was the wand an action, or the drone an action? I, I'll i let like, you have a preparatory action, because you did find anything. Okay, um, th from the outside of this building, it looked pretty tall, right? Is, yes. I look up. Is there windows above me? No. The crates are actually stacked pretty damn high. Um, oh. This is a large storage structure, a okay. granary, if you will. How how then? How high am I right now on top of these? On these crates, you're about fifteen feet up. Okay. Um. There's not. Okay. The is there anything above the entrance, like a, a platform I can get on top of? No. Maybe. Okay. All right. It's a then. smooth wall um, that leads down there. Um, then I will uh, use the sacks uh, to break my f um, leap off of. Uh, Have you ever jumped the notes before, class? Um, it's just I'll do. I'll mass. roll. I'll roll into it. <laughs> you, I'll try to roll into give it. Give me an acrobatics. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> it's uh, not hay. <laughs> feet don't fail me now. Twenty. You don't take any damage from the misguided okay. leap onto great onto grain. Uh, you are okay. Cool. Uh, rolling. Uh, that was fifteen feet at twenty-five. Uh, and thirty-five. Oh. Can't go through that wall. Thirty-five. Uh. And I guess I'll just uh, action dash to get cover right here. Okay. Righty then. Uh. Oh, actually, no, I don't do that. Okay. Um, I'll prepare my grease gun. All right. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, when shit. it gets closer. Okay. In that case, go on initiative. Hell yeah. All right. Hey, let me roll. Hey. Oof. Not a pretty bad roll. Then I'll roll. Ribs, you are up first, but right. I'm going to make it, I'm going to take some action movement. Uh, 
uh, to resolve some questions. Uh, emerging from the other side of the building, a much smaller vehicle, basically a little more than a dune buggy, comes roaring around from the north. Well, south. You get what I'm saying. From the top of the map, a truck with an, a large, what looks like a machine gun, with a, with a gunner mounted onto it, with a huge gun shield in front of it, comes roaring onto the scene. Uh, as does another one. Oh, shit. Rising up and cresting over the hill with a... Just lands right in front of all of you looking out. Uh, it squeals to the right and begins heading uh, north, southward of the map. Uh, that's what you see at the beginning of your turn. Okay, I think I have a lot of things to do. I'm going to action surge right now and just uh, get the ball rolling here. So okay. I have, I'm going to use my action surge and use uh, a fighting spirit. So my attacks will all have advantage. And I'm going to attack four times. Okay. All right, I'm going to attack this uh, this uh, brown vehicle. This, this, one, this one has a gun on it, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it does. And this one doesn't have a gun on it, right? They all have guns on them. Okay, they all have guns on them. Um, <laughs> what kind of gun is on this? On the truck? Yeah. Uh, beneath the canopy on the back, it has what looks like a large cannon. Okay. I feel like that's more dangerous, so I'm going to shoot that. Okay, gonna attack. Go for it. Roll an attack. And 26 hit. certainly hits. Are you aiming for the truck specifically or the people I'm on the truck? I'm aiming for the people on the truck. All right. You have three targets to choose from. The gunner, the driver, or the passenger. Uh, the, the, the gunner. Okay. At 26 hits. Go ahead and roll damage. 24. The right. gunner will spend his reaction reduce the damage he takes. As you fire at him, you see he ducks behind the gun shield, and the anti manage slug still punches through, and you hear an, Ugh! He'll pay for that, Outworlder! But that's... You do hit him. Who common? are you, fiends? Yeah, here's, here's three more of my attacks. Hold up. Uh, he said that in uh, common. It was a person. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> okay. Attack advantage. Oh, Oh, that's a crit. That's natural twenty. So how do I? How does damage work? Uh, well, hold on. Are you targeting the gunner again? I'm targeting the gunner again. He is immune to critical hits. Oh. Damn. Yep. Damn. So, Darn. go ahead and roll. Uh, just roll another attack, and just choose the damage from that one because Foundry will take the crit and multiply damage for it, even though it's. Wait, not do I just hit normal damage? Oh, if it gives you that option, yes, just hit no yeah. damage. Okay. okay, 26 points of damage. Nice hit. All right, and I've got a couple more. Uh, I'm gonna attack. Advantage. That hits. Okay. He's still up. Still up, man. These are some beefy bitches. Okay. I should describe the gunner you're shooting at. Uh, it is a large man in extremely heavy power armor. Understood. Let's well, get him shooting him. Uh, advantage. Another. This is my last shot. Okay. Once again, just a normal hit. <laughs> Aww. Two crits on one dude. Uh, did you roll normal damage? That was normal damage. Jesus. All right. Uh, yeah, he looks like shit, but he's still up. Jesus Christ. His armor is full, like, the huge extremely dense chest plate is just mottled and dented from the blows that struck it as matter has just been removed literally can the I molecules also, disintegrated can I use a turn to like ask uh, the navigator to like maybe fire on them uh, you can spend your bonus action to do yeah my bonus action my bad uh, you, you use your bonus action to request that Corley fires on the truck uh, Corley would reply, I'll do my best, but again, they're below me. Dang. You beat like that sometimes. Uh, Harry. Try to come swooping in. 
Um, on oh. on this vehicle, are there any like demons? It's all people. Oh, okay. Um, These are survivors. These they survive. are cultists. Surviving uh, cultists. Uh, These are the cult of the dragon followers, or what's left of them. You know them as they become basically. Think of Borderlands raiders. That gunner's a boss enemy. Yeah. They have been a menace to retriever teams ever since you've been begun the program. A guiding bolt. Are you targeting an individual uh, or the vehicle? The gunner. The gunner on the. Okay. A 17 doesn't hit. All right. You hurl this guiding bolt and it <laughs> goes, goes flying right over the guy's shoulder as he is mounted to this machine gun. Uh, and he whips it around as the vehicle's bouncing, the suspension tossing about. He aims it straight at you. You've caught his attention. All right. Um. Sorry. No gizmo. No gizmo. Gizmo doesn't go yet. Any <laughs> movement or bonus action? E oh. I don't have any bonus actions that aren't spells. <laughs> okay. So you guys know you have dealt with these sorts of enemies before in character. You don't want to be caught out in the open. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. They have machine guns. You do not want to be outstanding in the open air. I guess then I'll run just into this building slightly behind this cover. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, hey there, Gizmo. <sighs> Hello, we are under attack. I am proceeding with programs as efficiently as possible. That, that's my turn. I don't okay. think I can do anything else. All right. Gizmo collects a crate and loads it into the vehicle. <laughs> yes, perfect. Thank you, Gizmo. Uh, let's see. He would... Okay, he gets there. He would finish his turn, unfortunately, outside the structure. Right here. Uh... Okay. Here we go. Okay. The truck hurdles its way, hauling ass, going faster than any of you can on foot, uh, maneuvering up, and it will finish its movement here. Oh, does it, um, oh. Does it pass within 60 feet? Yes. Okay. okay. So uh, it would be here when it when it's passing you. Okay. Uh, big blob of grease or like a packet full of grease right into the right in front of the uh, wheels. Uh, okay. Ten foot square. You cast grease on the the truck. Uh, in front of the truck, just in front of it. Okay. So it's going to get a dexterity um, save versus. DC? Yeah, 16. It's a natural 20. Uh, yeah. Uh, where, where is that spell? Silvery where? Bobs! <laughs> so I was like right there. Okay. Damn. Yeah. Unfortunately, oh. the truck, it seems like it made it swerve just a little, but the driver's too experienced at what he's doing, and the truck does not uh, lose any momentum. And as it arrives here, it is going to fire its cannon, and it's going to be a explosive shot. It's going to fire right here. Oh, give me my pinger. Ping. Hey, I can't show you. Okay. Uh, which means I need a dexterity save from Annika and Ribs. All right. I'm As good. the gunner slams the shell in place, and you all hear, "Funk!" <laughs> Eleven is unfortunately not good enough. Owie. Annika, next save. Twenty-three is good enough. You take half damage from what I'm about to do to you. Oh. Okay. Uh, ribs, you take thirty-three points of force damage 
and Ow. 10 points of fire damage. So that's a total of... 43. But you're resistant to fire, so... Minus 5 from that. 38. 38. Uh, right. Annika, you take uh, half total, so 43 halved, you take 21 points of damage total. Uh, how much was force? Tw- uh, 33. Guys, I'm going to half HP, okay. oh lordy. Uh, 33 <laughs> halved would be 16. Okay, so halved again is and 8. Then- Eight and five, so eight. thirteen. You take thirteen yeah. points of damage from that explosion. So yeah, you see the the specific armor <laughs> that she's wearing actually reflects some of the force damage. Okay, that's pretty fucking cool. I'm not gonna. Uh, as the vehicle uh, whips up and around. So it was eight and something of eight and five. You take thirteen total. Okay. That's after having and resistance. Awesome. Um, that the truck will then perform its passenger action uh, and it's going to uh, Arno, Cap and Gizmo all need to make dexterity saves as automatic fire just oh, I am rolling terrible <laughs> it's okay this is a little machine gun <laughs> Oh wow! Ah, oh, just little get, bullets. You get hit by a shell, Bestie. Just little tiny bullets. Oh jeez. Oh no, that is unsuccessful. I'm afraid. <laughs> wow. Okay. You've seen a bullet in our lifetime before. Gizmo... I've gotten shot at before. You know. Gizmo rolled an 18. Gizmo's okay. <laughs> he just kind of hops to the side to dodge the incoming fire. He uh, does one of those little toy dog robot flips. <laughs> exactly. I need to roll a D4 to see how many shots each of you get hit by. Actually, why don't both of you roll a d4 to determine how many shots oh, you get hit gonna, by? You're going to make me roll my own damage. I am going to make you roll your own damage. <laughs> oh, okay. No. You get hit by two shots. Arno, oh, you get hit by three. Just... Okay. Each shot does... Okay. Uh, Cap, you take 12 points of piercing damage. Charles, you take 18. Okay. That's right. Yo, I, I have half my age. Oh, that one shell hit me so hard. Yeah. Uh, that's it for the armored truck's turn. Cap, you're up. Okay. First up. 30 feet. Oh, whoops. 30 feet. Action. Dash. Oh. Hopping up onto the gunner. Go <laughs> athletics. Uh, I get to also add uh, bonuses on that, too. Let's see. I what want you to it? know this buggy is going 120 feet around. You're and gonna I take am damage. I'm trying to be as cool as I can. I understand. That's okay. You're gonna yeah, take some that's damage that's by good. jumping onto the vehicle. Okay. Let's see. I can add plus two to any strength dex uh, and add four to my jump distance, but uh, that's not relevant. So athletics plus seven. I am just rolling hot ass. Thirteen. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm gonna let you succeed at a cost if you want. I'll okay. take damage if I can get on. Okay. Either you miss. Or you land on it prone and you take damage. I'm okay with it. Okay. Okay. Let's see. How much damage? You take 16 points of bludgeoning damage as you slam onto the bed of this technical, this dune buggy, and the gunner is looking down at you and he's, you just hear him say, What the hell? That's okay. Um, going to bonus action, second wound. Uh, okay. Good call. Tricks. Short rest, roll that. Yo, plus, I, I need some backup back plus here. Eight. So 18 plus 8. I think I might be at full now. I just haven't gone yeah, yet. I'm at, That's I'm all. at full. <laughs> <laughs> Action surge. <laughs> okay, I you want to shove the I'm gonna shove the gunner off. <laughs> okay. He is he's going to he's have like a bone no, he's not mounted, uh, but he is in a harness. So uh you're basically shoving him out of the harness and off off the truck. Uh, so he's gonna get a bonus to his athletics contest. Gotcha. Go ahead and roll me athletics. Why am I Nine. rolling hot ass? I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm. That's what I rolled. <laughs> I okay. roll a natural twenty. Uh, you like you hop up and you, and you just, you almost fall back over as he as he swivels the gun around. He can't 
he cannot aim the machine gun at you because yeah. you're you're in its you're in front of its barrel basically you're within its you're too close yeah. uh, and you see he's like trying to gravel and scrabble for his sidearm as he's seated on this gunner seat. Well, I already used both my actions. Uh, can I use an good item interaction? Good thing a shove is a, an attack. Yeah, you have another attack. Oh, so, oh, okay. Yeah, I'll try you it again. Could, you could shove him again. Okay. Yeah, roll athletics. That's better. That is better. <laughs> uh, mine is much worse. I rolled a natural six. Uh, okay, yeah. So as he's scrabbling for his sidearm, he lets go of the handle of the machine gun for a split second. And in that moment, you... You shove him off of the truck. Uh, I'm gonna give I'm him. Now a, on the gunner. <laughs> I'm going to give him the typical deck save that is, you know, hold on to the thing or or perish basically. Um, <laughs> that's, a, that's a four. Uh, so <laughs> the gunner goes flying off the back of the vehicle, uh, and now there that's is good. his tokens on the field. You can see him now. <laughs> Wait, is he still strapped? And is he getting dragged? <laughs> no, no, you pull him out of oh, the harness okay. to do that. Okay, I got you. Um, it's, it's not like a five-point harness. It's basically just like a, a crossbar uh, that holds him in place. Basically like a haphazard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gotcha. that's it, really. Uh, um, so you are on the truck. You are in the gunner's position on the truck. You're not in the gunner's seat. You would, yeah. that, you would actually I have to I can still get thrown off, basically. Oh, yeah. You yeah. could. Um, item interaction, if it's allowed. Uh, you can say no because it might be a bit too complex, but um, I'm going to take the rope off my bag. I'm going to kind of uh, put like half of it into the um, the bag of the very flammable stuff, toss the bag into the seat, and just have like some of the rope left right next to my leg. Okay. On this turn, you've jumped onto the truck. You, yes. you, you, you attempted to shove this man it. off of the truck. You manage to again, and then you've got yourself up in the gunner's position. You're pulling all this shit out. I'll say, on your next turn, you can do the item interaction. Fair enough. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take what I can get. Right. Annika. All right. Um, these guys are way too mobile. So, rifle comes out and it goes into the battery pack again. Um, these wheels, are they, do they look like rubber? Yes. Okay. I am going to attempt to put two shots into the wheels. It's a called shot, so they're at disadvantage. Okay. Uh, well, let's try the first one. Okay. Let's see if we can hit it on the first one. They are going very fast, so it's a difficult shot, but a 16 does hit. Cool. 24 points of damage to the wheel of the vehicle. There is a loud <laughs> as the tire is suddenly uh, basically half destroyed. Uh, and you see that buggy as it's driving, it's suddenly it, it's swerving a lot more than it was a second ago. Okay. Um, second shot's going to go there. You have, there's a gunner on this one, right? Yes. Actually, yes. No, this one's more dangerous. Uh, there's a gunner on this, right? Yes, he is in power armor. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and uh, did I shoot him? Okay. Spending a grit point. One attack at advantage. 21 hits. Okay. Um, I can only spend one grit per turn, yeah? I think. Yeah. All right. Never mind then. Uh... Eighteen points of damage. Okay. He looks bad. He. It's actually. It's hard to see how bad he looks. His power armor is mangled and dented, uh, but he's still in the cannon seat. Gotcha. All right. Um. Damn. Okay. Uh. Bonus action, I'll look over here at Ribs. Ribs, get out of the open! And I'll go back inside. And that's it. Okay. Uh, next. Oh. Uh, oh, well, 
That's... Something is happening. Don't worry about it. Uh, this buggy, uh, the gunner that you just knocked out of the seat, he's prone. He takes some damage. Okay. He stands up, and he's going to shoot at you, Cap. Okay. He's chasing after the buggy. <laughs> Uh, that's a 19 to hit you? No, uh, that does hit, yes. Okay, you take... Uh, 17 points of piercing damage. Okay. Looking good, looking good. Uh, he sees that you're looking good, and he doesn't like it. Um, I'm trying to decide if he takes that action or if he just shoots again. He'll just shoot again. Uh, that's a 22 to hit. So That's also hit. Yeah, yeah, that'll hit. Uh, you take another 17 points of piercing damage. Nice. Uh, on I'm his turn, happy. the buggy moves. Uh, oh god, sink fast! <laughs> Yeah. Zoom in. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'll, just, uh, I'll move my token after you move. Gonna end up over here. Wait, is this another new one? This oh, is no. the same one. one. Oh, okay. oh, God. There we go. Uh, what? It no longer has its gunner. The passenger is going to uh, take its action. Uh, and he is going to fire on the ship. Uh, he hits. You see he leans out of the passenger seat and he looks at you, Cap, and he just goes, <laughs> uh, and he raises a rifle that <laughs> it's another energy weapon that slams a shot into the side of the High Sally. Oi! Hey, watch the oh, road! <laughs> You're not you. going anywhere. That's my goddamn ship. Uh, and the driver is going to attempt to shake you off with its evasive uh -huh. action. Uh, so I need you to make a strength saving throw to hold on. Nice. That's what I wanted. Oh, come on. Well, that's... You you, you succeed. He okay. fails to oh. shake you off. I rolled a five. Nice. Oh. All right. Oh. <laughs> Next. Ah, really this fellow's what turn. What are you? <laughs> what is this? Uh, this buggy uh, is going to proceed to, to continue straight forward. Uh, and it's going to strafe. Because the gunner's still on it. Uh, let's see. That's the one with the blasted tire? Yes. Yes, okay. it is. Um, it's That's as far as it can go. That's all its movement now. Um, I need a deck save from... Well, the the planet, This the guardian doesn't get hit. Because it's an ethereal being. Um, but it does I, shoot yeah. at it, taking one of the shots. Uh, Good. but I do Good. need a deck save from Ribs and Arno. Oh my gosh, I'm getting shot at again. This is by the big machine gun, so... Oh no! Push me and go inside. <laughs> if you go inside, I'm over there. <laughs> 21 is successful. 27 is also successful. You guys God. both managed to not get hit as the ground just erupts in <laughs> as these huge bullets are slamming into the earth around you. Uh, it's terrifying. I need you both to make wisdom saves. I've fucking managed on this too. Hold up. Down. Oh, oops. Did I make two? Oh, no. I didn't make you did make two. They both failed. Um, oh. You both are frightened of this buggy. Specifically, this buggy. I can't. Just buggy Hang scary. It. This buggy. Oh, now you can't go inside. <laughs> uh, no, you can. Well, if you're frightened, you can't get closer. That's true. You you cannot. <laughs> you could go around the building, I suppose. Um, you can attempt to make Which that buggy? wisdom saving. Are we? This one. Wait, wait, wait. This one. Yes. Oh, okay. Yay! Okay, I will run a different way. <laughs> Arno, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, for the this buggy over here, um, is the is the is the driver exposed? No, the truck, the cab of the truck is completely armored. 
Like, straight out of Mad Max, there's, like, steel plates bolted all over it with rivets. Okay. Um, but the, the gunner is still is somewhat... He's open. alive. He's on the cannon. He doesn't look very good. <laughs> okay. He's been shot a lot. Just put some heat rounds into him. It'll penetrate. <sighs> Wrong game. Okay, so then... Oh, okay. Run. Uh, let's see. 30... Okay, uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to run and dash to get pretty much right up. Actually, can I can I leap onto the um, uh, onto it? You can try. It's, it would require an athletics check. Okay, yeah. And I'm using my inspiration for that for uh, for advantage. Um, okay, go for it. Okay, and uh, let's see. Whoa, where did I go? Okay, athletics advantage. Okay. Yeah, that's successful. Uh, you leap onto the truck. Okay, I am uh, going to... You are to... going to take a bit of damage. Uh, okay. You take nine points of bludgeoning damage as you slam into the truck. And it's moving uh, not as fast as the, the technicals, but pre pre pretty quick. Okay, and then I'm going to, for my bonus action, I'm going to use the action surge. And I'm going to hit him uh, twice with the hammer. The gunner? The gunner, yes. Okay, go for it. Uh, first one. That misses. His AC is 20. His AC is 20. Okay. And then, well, in that case, I am going to use my, oh, um, I'm going to use my second attack to, uh, grapple him. Okay. Uh, uh, athletics contest. Okay. Yep. Go ahead and roll athletics for me. Oh my God. Uh, oh. He is Ooh. in, he is in power armor. His yeah. athletics is plus eight. I rolled okay. a th I rolled a three. So oh, nice. <laughs> you win the contest. Whoa. Okay. And uh that's all I'll, that's all I can do. Okay, you've grappled the gunner. Yes. He unfortunately he can still make attacks while grappled. Uh okay. it's now Corley's turn. Hell yeah. Uh, Let's go, King. The cannon on the ship suddenly turns and begins to track the armored truck that Arno just jumped onto. <laughs> um, oh yeah. no, Corley! He can't see. Corley I wave is... him off. I wave him off. Reaction. Wait, no. Can I use a reaction to tell him or something? I let him. Let him fire. Let him fire. Oh my god. Let him fire. <laughs> He can't, the problem is he can't really see uh, mm -hmm. because the high sally is so high up. Um, oh, no. He's going to be making an attack at disadvantage on the truck. Brace for impact, Arno. Uh, I rolled a 24 and a 22. So he hits the truck. Um, Arno, yep. I'm going to need a deck save from you. Okay. As it is a ship cannon. Um, <laughs> does, he, does he survive, please? Okay, Arno, okay. I'm going to let you make a choice here. Yes. If you jump off the truck, you will take damage from falling, but you will not take damage from the weapon. If you okay. remain on the truck and avoid the main blast, you will take half damage from the weapon, and you'll still be on the truck if it survives. <laughs> you uh, should get off the truck, man. I'll get off the truck. Okay, roll me in acrobatics. Tuck and roll, tuck and roll! Like, I feel really bad that everything you just accomplished is undone because yeah, of ooh. the previous actions in this turn. Yeah, uh, that's fine. I should have paid attention. Uh, so, well, is there any chance it can be athletic guy. instead? It's just acrobatics. Uh, oh, it's, I'm, you can get the guy down. Take the yeah, guy with you. Jump off the guy. 
Right, well, isn't he strapped in? He is strapped in. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah. So I, I'm just going to let go of him. So, As okay. you, you feel this crawling heat growing on the back of your neck, and you glance over your shoulder, and you see the cannons of the High Sally are pointed straight at you and the truck, and they are glowing red as the finder beam from the laser is just pointed straight at you. Uh, okay. My you, deck save was there. Okay. Uh, oh, acrobatics, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's a six. You take... Boy, let me tell you, this is... You take way less damage than you would have. Uh, you take two points of bludgeoning damage as you tumble off of the truck. That is so okay. nice. Okay, that's good. It's very good. Wow. That, <laughs> yeah, yeah that's relieving. Uh, so, move your like, token. Like, like there? You can choose where you move to. Oh, I can choose where I move to? Um, yeah, no, you can this. move within five feet of the truck. Choose a direction. Oh, okay, any direction. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just, I'll go off to the side there and they can just keep going. Oh, but, I mean... Is that five feet from the truck, or is five feet from the truck over here? Either is fine. Okay, I'll be where I am. Okay. The laser time. does 114 damage to the truck. <gasps> Holy cow! Jesus! Whoa. Good shot! Whoa! Good shot, navigator! I rolled really hard. You high. almost hit Arba Arno, but good the laser, shot! <laughs> the laser just glows red for a brief moment, and then you all just hear this... <laughs> And there's a beam cut through the side of the truck that burns a clean hole. Uh, the truck is suddenly making this horrible noise as it's trying to drive forward. Uh, its engine is destroyed. Wait, can, you do can you do that one more time? No. It's recorded. You can listen to it later. Uh, the truck is effectively destroyed. Uh, it doesn't blow up because it did not hit anything that is flammable but the truck's HP is zero, <laughs> so it's but not moving. Is the cannon on the truck functional still? I don't know. Are oh, the okay, bitches on the truck functional? Is the what? <laughs> Are the bitches on the truck functional? You don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, if uh, I was going to take half that damage, Cor I'm sure they did too. <laughs> Over the sending what box, you? you hear, Cannon's down for... Uh, what does he say? For 12 seconds! So two rounds. Off across the whole pile of field. Uh, Tell them not to shoot me! Tell them not to shoot me! That's some solid penetration from our ship. Um. We go back around. Ribs. Yeah. You're up. All right. Can I get a clear shot on the um the gun? That ca oh well, on the. Um, Gunner on the vehicle that Caps is on. Um, that gunner no is over here, on the top of the map. I knocked him off. He's over here. <laughs> He's over there. Oh, oh, never mind. Well, <laughs> there's a driver still. <laughs> that has a yes, there is, is a there... driver and a passenger in the boat. I just imagine. I just imagine him, Captain Jack Jack Sparrow, running after the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. Okay. Mm. I, I guess like I'll shoot like is there is there a gunner on the <laughs> other truck? Yes. Okay, I have three hundred and sixty effective feet if I don't do anything this turn but fire. You so, are getting You could do that, yes. Um I remind you you're getting shot at. A okay, lot. Fair, fair. Yeah, yeah. I mean we just killed the bitch on the fucking tank didn't on the like the Jeep, didn't we? No. You destroyed oh. you. The truck is no longer functioning, but the gunner, driver, and passenger—you don't know if they're dead or not. Okay. Well, the uh, gunner, the gun is right. probably broken, right? Oh, whatever. I, okay. I'll, I cannot I'll confirm nor cover. deny this assumption. Okay. And can I shoot from like here? Yeah, I can. You can see it. You can shoot it. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to shoot. Um, this fucker over here. The gunner in there. Okay, go for it. Roll and attack. Alright, I'm going to also you go ahead and use my um my other fighting spear to have advantage on my two attacks. Okay. And okay. Go for it. See what you get. Samurai with a gun. 
Hell yeah, with an antimatter rifle. Oh, hey, Ribs. You dropped some blueberries there. Thanks. <laughs> That's her uh, bleeding. We'll grow into trees <laughs> later. <laughs> drops berries. <laughs> this is concrete on the floor. <laughs> A 28 to hit. Yes, that hits. 33 points of damage on the gunner. Uh, yeah, you... Okay. Uh, that is... Hold on. His left arm is removed. Can, can he oh. gun with that? Like, has he been gunning with, like, his both of his hands, I'm assuming? Uh, you didn't take a close enough look. You know what? We're just gonna shoot him again. Okay. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Alright, attack. Advantage. That hits. Damage. Alright, you kill him. Hell yeah. Uh, he had 60 hit points. He did more than half of his hit points in the first shot, so... That's... that's he's done. He's done for. Uh, there is no gunner on that buggy at the moment. That's what I like to see. Alright, looks like uh, two gunners are incapacitated. We gotta see what's up with the big buggy. And uh, we got the drivers and passengers left. Alright, end of my turn. Okay. Barry, you're up. Um, yep. <sighs> Does the They're Guardian gonna... do nothing? It, oh, it has to have there. something come near it. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and it is preventing them from driving in that direction, so... It's really good damage, but it's just not the best place in an open area. Yeah, it's like a deterrent. Yeah. Harry, what are you gonna do? I don't know. Um... Uh... Do you need me to come back to you? Yeah, sorry. No worries. We will come back to you after Gizmo's turn. Gizmo spends his movement. Goes, he enters here. Collects. And he brings it to the Sally. Uh, you hear Gizmo say, Hi, Sally, fully loaded. Oh, shit. Well, you guys want to head out or finish the job here? I'm currently on the buggy! <laughs> Sounds good. You see Gizmo uh, cl crawls up the loading ramp into the Sally. Okay. Excellent. Uh... You hear Corley over the sending box say, We need to get out of here! No! Before they shoot us more! Shit. Uh, I tell him all the gunners are incapacitated or dead. If we let them if we let them live, they'll go back and tell the people about this place and it'll be empty as soon as I mean it'll yeah, be empty. Straight. There'll, there'll be no more expeditions for the next retrievers. And this is a lot of food. Uh it's this buggy's turn. Uh, the driver is going to sh attempt to shake you off of it as it whips around in a tight circle. I need you to make a strength saving throw. Versus the driver. That's a 17. Driver rolls a natural 18, so you are dislodged. Oh, shit! Ah! Oh, shit! I'm no uh, longer on the buggy! <laughs> yeah, the buggy comes in a tight circle winding around you, Arno. Uh, and he's going to try to hit you with the vehicle. Oh, no. oh he's trying to run you over. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit! Um, I need a deck save versus the driver. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Okay. I'll reveal. Yeah, I got to reveal. Mm -hmm. He just nat 20 running you over. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a lot of damage because that's a crit. Vehicle. Uh, is this a? Is, does this count as an attack that I can do with the? Uh, I could use my um, runic shield on. Yeah, I'd allow this to count here, so it's just okay. a regular hit. Uh, yep. Because I don't want to. I don't feel like. I mean, I don't want to kill you with a car. Um, that's fine. Uh, no balls. 
<laughs> no yeah, balls. Yeah, seven roll again. Uh, roll again. That is an eighteen. Oh. Well, he still hits you, but it's not a crit. Okay. Yeah. Well, there we go. Uh, the vehicle he hits you for one sixty ten. Oh no. Thirty-seven points of bludgeoning damage. Jesus. Are you okay, Arno? Oh no! I am one hit point. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. oh my gosh! Uh, that's its drive-by attack. The passenger leans out of the window and is going to open fire uh, with his automatic weapon. Remember the small machine gun? I do. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be Let's see who it's shooting at. It's the cone. Oh, I have to choose a cone. Would it do it, coward? He won't. He won't shoot me. <laughs> the thing is, he wants to shoot the shuttle and also you. Um, and only have so one. the options are either Ari and the shuttle, Cap and the shuttle, or Cap and Arno. Arno's just. I still got his best friend on the car, didn't I? How do you feel about that? <laughs> okay. I stick my tongue out at him. <laughs> yeah, Ari, you're getting shot at. <laughs> Ari, oh, no. I needed. I need a deck save from you. All good. I'd it's prefer to get shot at than anybody else. <laughs> Everyone's so low. Um, dexterity safe and throw. It's getting so intense. A dirty twenty. That's successful. Okay. Uh, but oh, the high yeah. Sally does take some damage. High Sally oh, is King's shot. Wrong. High Sally is shot for eighteen points of piercing damage. That's nothing to a ship, right? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Cap, uh, it's your turn. Uh, I did realize what I wanted to do. I just wanted um, to hold I think my. Oh, energy. okay. We can get yeah, later. We go. There we go. go I just want to hold my action to cast mass healing word once people get closer to me. <laughs> okay. Noted. You were holding a spell. Cap, what do you do? Okay. Let's see. Me, 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 uh, let's just see. Okay, 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 okay. So oh. I can get about there, then I'll have to dash. And then, after getting you, I'll have to go and get right there. Okay. <laughs> so, in a series of me moving, I will stand up half movement because that's half, that's unfortunately. Uh, dash for my action. Pick this man's up. And move Office. about 10 feet, because that's as much as I can move. Cat, what's your passive perception? Down. 14. Yeah, uh, as you're running by this truck, you see everyone on it is dead. <laughs> oh, good. It's like <laughs> me <laughs> and pasta. Hell yeah. <laughs> but yo, I'm, yo. I'm, just, I'm just dragging, uh, I'm just dragging like, Arno with me. Like, Why remember are you dragging how... me? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not unconscious. Good fucking job, navigator. I'm still moving. I'm still dragging you. Get over here. Uh, oh. So, are you? Is this unwilling movement right now? This is unwilling. I will Roll. do a contested athletics. I am track. dragging his ass. On Roll the athletics, you chuckle fucks. <laughs> okay. Twenty six. Yeah. What cat, are you? You just okay? Well, at the first, go go back over there. At the first sign of him like resisting, uh, fuck him. I'm just running then. <laughs> Okay. So I get the rest of my movement. <laughs> there, All right. Uh, next, Annika. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, come out or? The door or... is in between grid squares, so sometimes it takes some finesse. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, 5, 10, 15. Uh, um. Let me look at something real quick. Because uh, I don't know if this is going to work. But I hope okay. it does. Uh. Uh, 
the vehicles are not considered a creature. No, they are vehicles. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Then. They are constructs. Uh, I was I was thinking about forceful shotting uh, the vehicle into the grease. You could attempt to forceful it. shot the people in the vehicle. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, is there's a there's no gunner in this one. There is no gunner, but there is a passenger. We just gun. unloaded a shitload of bullets onto the ship. Gotcha. Um, yeah, uh, and he's visible. I can shoot him. Yes. Okay. I will. Uh, first shot, forceful shot. That's the blood uh, to you, friend. He looks pretty fucked up as he got shot in the face by dib by ribs. Uh, but yeah, go for it. By dibs. <laughs> Twenty six hits. All right. Does he get a strength save or anything? Yeah, it's a strength save. All right, roll damage. Uh, let's actually let's uh, put this in. Is that? Sh did I that rolled show a twelve. No. Uh, it's DC sixteen. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, roll damage as he's summarily ejected from this vehicle. Okay, fifteen <laughs> feet yeah. away from me. Uh, damage. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Uh, he had 18 hit points, so you fire on the passenger who come... Arno, you see this man come flying out, blood streaking from a helmet as he slams onto the ground dead. Let's fucking go! Confirmed All right. kill! Boom! <laughs> Alright, so that was 15, 20... Uh, 25. Uh, and then, uh, second shot's gonna go into the wheel. Uh, the other wheel? Uh, the. Oh, this vehicle. Okay, go for it. This this vehicle in front of me, where the passenger okay. is. Uh, this. Um, disadvantage, right? Cool. It is disadvantage. I rolled 25, double 16. 25 <laughs> certainly hits. Green for this wheel? Okay. Uh, yeah, front wheel. Okay. Oh, wait. Maybe the back wheel. We'll go the back wheel. Okay. 19 points of damage. All right. As you shoot the wheel on the buggy, it... <laughs> as it's the truck is suddenly sliding and skidding. Uh, okay. I have check. Has four. Oh. Oh, that's a natural one. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> something might happen on his turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, gonna use the rest of my movement. There's 10 more feet to get an angle on this one. I shot this tire of this one, right? Yeah, you shot the rear tire. That one. Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, same tire. Uh, axe and surge for two more shots. Oh. No, you yeah. group of fighters. All right, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Roll your attack at disadvantage. <laughs> How Lots many of fighters. fighters do we have again? You have three fighters. Uh, <laughs> where you have is a our samurai, a gunslinger, and... Huh? Where is oh. our bushy friend? In the building. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm okay. in the building. Just Got it. Uh, 12 does not hit. Okay. Do I see the gunner from this range? No. Or, sorry, the... You see the, the passenger, passenger and the driver, yes. Okay, I will shoot the passenger for my second uh, shot on X and Surge. That's oh, a I, natural I, one. Frey, that does not hit. It cannot hit, for it is a failure. Yeah. Okay. God, I can't see past this guardian. <laughs> uh, and fuck it, I'll just... Um... I'll second wind as the last thing I can do. Okay. There it is. Ow. That's a one. That is how it goes sometimes. <sighs> that's all right. What are you? Okay. That's it. Uh, this truck drifts and stops. Then next... Uh, this, fuck, this technical, uh, he failed his driver's check for the natural one. He's the only one in the vehicle. 
as the passenger was killed. It's currently going at 120 feet per round, and it's lost one of its tires. It skids. It begins to slide as it's trying to turn, and it's missing a key part of its traction, oh, no. and it will crash into the side of the building. Hell yeah. Awesome. Bitch dead? You need to confirm to kill? Calm down. I gotta roll damage. <laughs> <laughs> you hear an enormous around. bang from the inside uh, of the building. So it's going to be basically fall damage. The vehicle and the driver both take 65 points of damage. Ouch. The driver had 60 hit points. As the we the vehicle slams into the side of the building, you just see the, the whole thing, like in those old school crash test just freaking accordion in on itself just any <laughs> damage done to the oath up. uh the building is extremely dense concrete and steel it oh, is yeah. unmarred by the vehicle slamming into it um and this buggy is destroyed all right cool so you did that by by popping its tire and the driver losing control Let's do. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Arno, you're up. Uh, second wind. Okay. Good call. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Twelve healing. You're at 13. Okay, uh, where do passengers enter the, the ship? Loading ramp, usually. Wait, have the we back. killed everybody? What? Have we killed everybody? No. No. Um, okay, uh, let's see then. Um, oh, okay. If you get a little closer, I can help with your wounds. <laughs> Uh, wh who said that? Wh I mean, where's the, that voice coming from? That was Harry. Harry. So that's okay. So at the at the back. Um. Uh, okay, I can't really do anything. Um. I will. Uh. Oh, sorry. I will just run to the back of the ship. Okay. You spend your turn running to the high Sally. Yeah, I'm not I'm not getting in yet, but I'm at the back. Okay. Corley's okay. turn. Corley fires up the vector thrusters on High Sally and it begins to lift. It's basically hovering at the moment. It's ready to oh, take shit. off the instant you were on it. He mm -hmm. is not waiting. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh you hear over the radio, "Get aboard. We can f shoot at him from the atmosphere. We need to go." Sounds good. Let's run. Ribs, you're up. All right, I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run into the ship. Okay. You get aboard. Can I pop healing ward now, or? Yeah, you people okay. are in range now. You can totally use it. Awesome. Uh, da, da, da. All right, everyone, get on the ship. Okay, so ribs, uh, Arno. Cap and Annika, you all heal for 14. Nice. Wait, I re I, we all heal for 14? Yes, because yep. Aerie just healed you with the healing work. Oh, sick. Aerie. Hopefully all you can get back to the ship in time. <laughs> At the end of Riv's turn, Aerie, it's your turn. Oh, oh, awesome. That was convenient. Uh, I'm getting into this ship. Okay, you run aboard the ship. Yes. Gizmo is oh. on the ship. Uh, he looks at you both and he says, do you require medical assistance? Um, that's all he does. Uh, right. Cap. <laughs> Question. You said this back door doesn't exist? What back? What? Like what? This, this yes, that doesn't here. exist. That's not there. And there's way too much food that we can't take back home. There's way too much food. If we um if we secure the area and like we kill this last um straggler, we should be able to get another ship here in time, I think. We can kill another them with the cannons on the ship. 
That's what I'm saying, yeah, with the yeah. ship. We use the ship to kill the stragglers, yes. I'm going to roll something real quick. Let's see. High, I do something stupid. Low, I go and ship. <laughs> okay. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm staying and I'm clocking the door behind me. <laughs> Buddy, what's your no. deal? Do you say that as you're running? No. I, uh, shout out. I do shout out though. Gizmo, lock it up after the last person goes on. You hear you affirmative. Doing? As your commander, I implore you to get on the ship as soon as possible. That's my action. <laughs> That's my turn. Okay, you run in and you lock yourself into the granary. I'm, the I'm gonna have to lock these three doors next. <laughs> I mean, he's not gonna starve. All right. <laughs> I am going to suffocate him. Monica. It's not as well fortified as it used to be. <laughs> well, I mean, I got large metal crates that I can okay, push the door. Uh, you know, you're right. Hold up, hold up. He he ran past me. Yes. Right. Oh. I get he, an, oh. Can I can I have an attack of opportunity? I guess. <laughs> All right. Um, from uh, out of the uh, utility belt, because I'm fucking Batman, you I guess. Um, a I'm just an old feeble man. String <laughs> of drink. light comes out as uh, uh, as I attack with my light weed net. Um, okay, roll an attack. You have to hit his AC. Okay. Disadvantage. It's a six. What? Why? Why would it be a disadvantage? Nets are really shitty. If you use them at, they're a ranged weapon, so if you use them at five feet, disadvantage. But if they're used out of five feet, then they're also at disadvantage. It's it's a six. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You, you, you miss them. Yeah, okay. So you throw well, the net, and he just darts past you. Ah, <laughs> uh, this and is a 30 foot range in. spell. What the heck? You hear Corley say, We have to go! We have incoming! Um, yeah, I'm, what? I'm shouting. Uh, <laughs> I'm shouting that uh, Annika is the last one. Go after they get on. What are you talking about? Get on the fucking ship as your commander. Get on the fucking ship, buddy. I crap. Respectfully, I'm disobeying an order. <laughs> Respectfully, I fuck you. Here. You're going to die here. I grab the net off the ground. Okay. That failed, and I will double dash. I think it's a better image that you have like one of those stretchy key ring things that like pulls it all the way back up to I your like belt. Like yep. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As Annika mounts the ship, Arno, you are right outside the ship. Uh, Before your turn. I can't leave him here alone. Before Come back turn. for us. Hold on. <laughs> For your turn, this buggy whips around to the side. Oh, sorry. Oh. And collects the errant cultist that everyone forgot about. <laughs> I definitely forgot. And he hops back no up into the passenger seat. No one cares for him. Uh, that was his... That's the passenger action. The driver is going to... Uh, he's driving north. Uh, he's driving away. He's trying to get away from uh, as you're now in a ship that's off the ground. Um, all right. Arno. Yeah, I'll get on the ship. And uh, once we take him out, if we feel like staying behind, I can get back on. So, yeah. So you climb aboard? Yeah. Okay. So, honestly, there's no major threat after we shoot the last ship. I don't know why our um, our teammate is staying here, really. Because you say that. Is less likely you say now. that as Corley is panically pointing at the readouts on his console, and he says, "We have to go. Everyone, tie down now!" As he's trying to get the ship oh, off the ground. Shit. Oh shit! I do stand close to hey. the entrance uh -uh. of this ship, holding oh. on. Good, Ari. Roll me a perception check. Are, are we I, in trouble? I, I is it? I will, I'm mainly looking for my friend if he peeks around this corner. Let me see. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> is it uh, God. out of combat? Can I do stuff real quick? No, we are not out of combat. Eric, okay. roll me a perception. Uh, perception check. Okay. Mm. 
So, <laughs> so <laughs> even with a natural one, this is basically a skill check you could not fail. Because as you look out the door, you don't see it, but you hear this terrible ear splitting. <laughs> and when you you hear that, you rear down and you look, and just over the roof of the granary, you see fast approaching the massive form must have come down from the mountains. The oaths a, are compromised. A white dragon. The oaths are compromised. Oh! The oaths are compromised. Please get on the ship. This is a very thick building. I don't think I can have comms in here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. Uh, Corley, now, that being said, Oh no, Where it's are not my you? brother. Oh, no. Hold on a second. Uh, Corley, as the dragon is fast approaching, Corley's going to prioritize the shuttle and the food, and he is leaving right now. Mm -hmm. So, Cap, unless you immediately start sprinting, I don't actually think you can reach. Hold on. Oh no, that's not my objective to get onto the ship. I know, but let me look uh, here. That's, that's, thir that's You don't have enough movement to get onto the ship. You true. could not if you wanted to, as the ship is taking off. The ship okay. needs to beat a hasty retreat as an what? ancient silver dragon rests oh. the roof of the granary. I, I comment to Corollary. I, I guess retrievers really like to die sometimes, apparently. I'm frustrated. Hold on. I might have something. Give me a sec. Um... No. Damn. Okay. Oh, uh, I can't. I can't touch another creature, but uh, uh, it's. It, I have to touch them. I was gonna see if I could like uh, throw my uh, my jump pack for him to jump up into the ship. Unfortunately, Cap is in the building. Yeah, but if he were if he was running out, I'd throw like a jump pad down. Cap, that's your call. Uh, they. I feel like you guys already kind of get the feeling I'm going to stay here. <laughs> Are you running to close those As... doors? I'm going to think close you the doors. Try that. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's okay, where I'm going next? It's okay, Cap. Take your move. Okay. Oh, for I need to get the ruler, so I don't cheat the system. Let's see, 10 feet. 20 feet, okay. I, 20 feet. That's 30 feet. Dash. Dash. Oh. 10 feet. 5 feet, so 15. You have 15 left. You get to the doors. Is there like an like an all shut system or do I have to just Yeah, there is a, there is basically oh, yeah, a pull 50, chain. I have 50 feet of rope in my backpack. <laughs> you yeah, but they have... have to be bolted in. I, I was the one to unlock these. They have to be bolted in if I want to keep yes, them they keep do. out. So yeah, I auto shut and I lock them. Cap is staying behind. Uh, could I try it? Uh, I guess I wasn't holding an action. I probably can't cast a spell on him. Oh, oops. Uh, okay. We move on to the next scene in this adventure, as Cap slams the doors and locks down the granary a structure you all know to be extremely secure. It was it was almost impossibly difficult to get into. He's going to die in the nitrogen gas. Yep. He's going to die without water. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> As we move on. I'm actually legitimately really sad. Like, I'm... <laughs> Why'd you do that? I would like to say one thing. Before I click the, the auto shut off thing, as like I see anyone outside who's just like looking, I'm doing a sloop <laughs> and then I lock okay. it. I, okay. <laughs> as your commander, um, you're dying with a dumbassery. But as... I will put all of your records in your um in your records. All your kills in your record. As the High Sally takes off and lifts off the ground. There is an ancient white dragon in close pursuit. You are not free yet. And the white dragon is close behind you. 
it is roaring and screeching as it blasts frost breath after frost breath, coating the back of the High Sally with ice. And you hear Coralie up in the front say, We can't get away! She's faster than us! What the hell's going on? Why are we slow? And he's basically shouting as he's got the throttle at full. Something is wrong with the High Sally. Oh, God. And it's it coated with ice? That doesn't really affect the engines. The engines are burning plasma at extremely high temperatures. They should not be affected by the ice. But is it increasing the mass of the ship? Maybe. Okay. How close maybe is the this dragon, dragon tailing us? Uh, as it is attempting to catch up to you, it is getting as close as 50 feet before it gets tired and backs off and then gets close again and gets tired and backs oh, off as you, you are ascending an atmosphere. Um. How about we hear some problem solving? What are you guys going to do about this? How are you going to either speed up the High Sally or slow down this ancient white dragon? I don't think we can fight this, right? Like that's too much. You know, the firepower for that thing. Um, what do we do? Face the ship. <laughs> uh... What else is in the ship besides yeah. the food? Uh, your I basic it, supplies, okay. water, that's it. It's it's just a transport shuttle to get from orbit to land. And our oats. And the oats. Um... Yo, we with the oats. Can someone shoot the, the dragon with the, the gun? The the, I, I, the, the, turret? I, I the cannons cannot shoot directly behind the shuttle. Okay. Because they're in a recess that points forward. You I have an idea, on antimatter, but yeah. yeah, sorry. What is your idea? It it doesn't say it has to be willing creatures, but I can choose up to five falling creatures and descent and slow their descent with okay. feather fall. They're not descending, are they? What are you talking about? Like, trying yeah, it's down flying. I'm trying. I'm trying to slow it down with Featherfall. Oh, the dragon. The dragon. Okay. <laughs> Roll me an Arcana check. Okay. <laughs> I see uh, this. I see this playing out well. Uh, <laughs> Some Mario shit good. if it ends like this. Honestly. If you I roll six high, six creatures no. equals uh, about a dragon. <laughs> Damn. Well, Annika, you look around, you're looking at this dragon, you're thinking about your abilities to alter how gravity affects things with your feather fall. You're not, you don't think that would be the trick. <sighs> the feather fall is like a little mini, like, sticky parachute that straps onto the back of people that they can just, like, throw out. Uh, and I realize this dragon's way too big. Yeah. <laughs> um, I will say, Annika, why don't you roll me an investigation? as you're searching for a solution. Wait, okay. wait, what if I shoot it in the eyes? It's a dragon. Um, you could hit it. <laughs> it would probably get mad. Wow, I am rolling like crap now. You have an inspiration uh, to use, I believe. Oh no, no, that was anybody... spent. If something, am I able, are we able to do anything like ourselves outside like can we open a window i mean or is that just completely ridiculous the shuttle is moving very fast um yeah. it's gonna you, suck us all you if okay so these windows the the uh -huh. ones up front they don't open because they're meant to be in orbit uh the loading doors do open that's it but they're not meant to be opened are they like while we're in shuttle they can be while you're in atmosphere it's it's not You're still an atmosphere. You have oxygen still. So. Yeah, it's not safe, but you can do it. Since it's gonna like suck um, us all out, right? You're not. You don't know. <laughs> I'll say yeah, that. I don't. I don't want to fuck with that. Uh, I was like shit. So what we, we have to do um, is a ship maneuver. Why don't, why don't you get all shut? Get get strapped. Get strapped in. And uh, we could open the the. Back, back bay door briefly and um, I can try to restrain it. The dragon. 
the dragon. The dragon. <laughs> um, can I cast detect magic? Oh uh, yeah, you can, can cast him. detect magic. Can I? Can I? Can I insight? Or can I? Do I? What, I, I that was well, firstly. Let me tell you. Him. Let me tell you. You don't believe he could restrain a dragon. Um, Harry, <laughs> with detect magic, you sense something alarming. You're looking around the storage bay of the shuttle, and with detect magic, you see in this corner of the shuttle bay, right by this container, there is fuel leaking. There is this blue crystalline fluid that is pouring down the wall. Ah, there is fuel leaking from the frickin' da! Ah. They have a fluid fuel, a fuel leak, navigator! She points at it. Okay, ah. I'm on it. Don't worry, don't worry, I'm on it, I'm on it. Gizmo, can we do anything about this? Like it. Uh, like Gizmo it. Like it. approaches and says, Repair mode, operational, what do you require? Can Not you... welding! <laughs> Affirmative! <laughs> can you fix the fuel leak without putting yourself in danger? Uh, Gizmo opens its back, and a bunch of parts are revealed. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. All right. DIY strikes again. Uh, I might need some help. Some hefty hands. I'm not that strong. I need everybody to roll a deck save. Okay. Ah. Uh, dark in the dark. In. Yes. Oh my golly. Annika, you are thrown oh, to it. your feet. Ari, you stay on yours as the suddenly the High Sally is <laughs> slammed by something. As just, you can all smell the cold, frozen air as outside the windows frost over and the White Dragon has clearly just slammed the shuttle with a, bra with a breath attack. I'd imagine your mammalian lips are all chapped by now. You hear Corley say, We can't take another one of that! Whatever that was, get us the fuck out of here! I look at the back of the ship. How close is this dragon? 20 feet. Oh. Oh, I, 20 gonna... feet works. Um, Can I cast fast friends? Is that a thing that can work on a dragon? <laughs> no, you're in combat with it. That's it. You could try, but it's a save as that advantage. Uh, I might as well try something. Thing. Oh okay. my gosh, is, is there a hint? Like, what do we do, Gizmo? What do we do? <laughs> Gizmo is okay. just standing there, back open, looking at the fuel leak. <laughs> Fast friends! Well. Wisdom save. I'm, I'm not allowed to say anything since I'm not there yet. Is the fuel leak visible? Like, we can see it, right? Like, You see that... So the hull of the High Sally is self-healing and that it, it, has to, it remains airtight. But there is a bullet hole right through the wall. That is sealed, but the pipe that was next to the wall is broken and fuel is leaking out. Can we fix it from where we are right now? Yes. Without mm -hmm. going outside. Okay, Leo, yeah. let, let's try that. Let's do that. First, the All dragon right. rolled a natural, rolled a 17 on the die. Uh, so it yep. succeeds on the fast friends. You just hear in your mind, <laughs> you are my prey and I can smell you. All right. With, with, uh, with, uh, yeah, just you the oats, dragon. Like, are oats just that delicious to you? Do you say that at the dragon? Yeah, I yell it at the dragon. <laughs> it's blood I seek. Is the may I, I use, use my breath weapon? Wait, wait, wait. Back the door just slightly. Can you do what? May I? Is it open? Can you open the cat? The the uh the. The, the back door, the cargo bay door, just slightly. Yes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, roll me a strength save. My... What did you say? Roll me a strength save. Okay. Uh, you and Ari, I need your strength save from both of you. Well, I hope. Um... Uh, the DC was 10. You both remain oh. in the storage bay as you hold yourselves back as wind begins oh, to buffet okay. at your clothes. My bonus action, I'm activating my um, storm rune, and I'm taking a hand axe and I'm throwing it at the um, uh, at the dragon. Okay. Uh, for, well, for my first attack. Um... I have an idea. Well, hold on. So, okay. Monica, you're attempting to repair this. Arno, you're yeah. throwing a hand axe. Ari, you tried a spell. It didn't work. 
I'm afraid I'll a 21 see. does not hit an ancient dragon. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, so what actually happens is the hand axe plung, bounces off of the snout of the dragon, and it doesn't seem to care. <laughs> oh, dear God. Um, uh, well, try the second attack. Okay, roll, um, throw another hand axe. <laughs> I cannot believe in you. Brute force. Um... I'm sorry, I just need to see something real quick. Um... Oh my god, it's late. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. You guys are going for okay. a unique... The session was from three to five hours. We're still in that bracket, so we're okay. Yes. <laughs> we are? Yes. Oh. Yep. Roll okay. the attack. I gotta get up at six. <laughs> 23 just hits. Okay, I'm activating my fire rune, which then restrains the dragon. <laughs> Is there a um, save, or does it just happen? There's a save. It is only a, it's a 13 save, but I'm using my uh, reaction to give it disadvantage on the save. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, it rolled a 12. Yeah. Plus. It will use its legendary resistance to succeed on the save. Oh. Ah, all okay. right. Okay. It was a good one. And I will say, you bought about 15 feet as the dragon was suddenly restrained by this magical effect. It is surprised that this hand axe delivered with it this freezing power of flame. And it... No! Uh, and you bought yourself a little bit of distance. And I, I, I close the door, the turn around, and it's like, I can't restrain a dragon, huh? And then I'll just let you all be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ari, what'd you say? Can I hold an action of when it gets into 15 feet to use my breath weapon? Yeah. Okay. You basically... And you just get ready for when it gets closer. All right. Yeah. All right. Annika. So I'm, I'm getting help? Yeah, you have aid. You're being helped. Cool. Uh, What's the role to fix this? This is going to be a Tinker Tools check. All right. Uh, and then um, I'll go ahead and aid uh all of this with mending as well we're mending where i need to okay um roll it at advantage 27 <laughs> annika <laughs> you fucking beast all right so you see that this fuel leak is just there's fuel pumping and coursing out all over the ground you reach down and you see Gizmo is offering his own parts. You reach down, you take one of the pipes that connects most of Gizmo's servos. You take it out. No. Gizmo slumps down onto the ground, flat. It's torso just on the ground now. None of its servos work. Some later. You take this pipe, you slam it into position, and with your Tinker Tools and Mending spell, you cold weld this pipe back into position all within six seconds. And as soon as you do, I need everybody to make a dexterity save. Oh shit. Uh, is the door I... still open? <laughs> yes, the door is still open. Oh, <laughs> uh, if I I'm falling out no, of no, no, it, no, you were right there. <laughs> breathe myself out of it. Oh, okay, on. dexterity save. Uh, all oh, I'm gonna, no. I'm gonna make oh, this. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> oh, <I'm> gonna... no. <laughs> uh, uh, that was at disadvantage because Annika would have been like, ah! and a hands up. <laughs> yes. Like in, in, in sheer. I'm just not expecting okay. to be. <laughs> but Arno, it's still an 18. Arno and Airy. As suddenly the shuttle was this? suddenly lurches forward. You are both, you're preparing your actions. You're looking out the door and the shuttle lurches beneath your feet. I need both of you to make a dexterity saving throw. Life or death, DC is 10. I am giving um, advantage to our Ari with my uh, Storm Giant. Uh, Can I throw a rope at him? You are busy trying to keep yourself on your feet. Well, oh, shit. please. Arno, that's successful. Ah! Ari, you oh. have. He has oh. given you advantage. You have advantage. Oh, so I roll again? You roll again. Yes. Yeah. DC's 10. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Oh okay, okay, all of you Jesus stay Christ. on the shuttle as it suddenly lurches forward and the dragon is suddenly cast behind you as if it's vanishing into the distance. You, the doors are slammed shut as the pressure sensors realizes that you're going up into orbit. 
and you guys have successfully, although not without losses, retrieved two tons of oats, and you've completed your mission. <laughs> mission fucking complete. Well done, crew. <laughs> I fly backwards while I fucking breathe out my. Wait, wait. So who died? Uh, no one died. Cap is currently in the A nitrogen greenery. Field. It's not okay. <laughs> so you never, you never understood that what was going on there. There's no nitrogen being added to the room. Uh okay. It's just cooled. Uh, or pre uh... It was preserved. Okay, I, I was about to say like I am suffocating here. You're not. I don't know. <laughs> you're you're sitting in a room. You're fucking fine. You're just like, am I gonna die? No, you're fine. So well, my intelligence is a minus one, so I think I'm gonna die. So I'm using as much time as I have to block the door with the with the middle. Well, yeah, why you did do you? Why did you stay down there, Cap? Uh, so our people are starving. Yeah, we only yeah. could take two out of fifty-two tons. It's true. There's yeah. a lot of food here. There is Day a lot number of food sixty. There. Day number 62. I should have been dead a long time ago. I don't know what's going on. I am so resilient. I am God. <laughs> I can breathe nitrogen. <laughs> Apparently, you on T's can survive in very harsh climates. That was... So, I love this one shot, and you guys are were so much fun to run for. I want to thank you all for coming. Um, that was a blast. Now, before I let you go, I just got a couple questions for you. Was there anything about the one shot that you thought could have been better or that you didn't like? Any 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 constructive feedback? I will take anything you got. Is not there's so no much... session two, which makes me so sad. Do you have any more adventures in this? I'm gonna have to like actually like set aside a hundred dollars to like fucking do sessions with you every month. Jesus Christ. I, yeah, I, I run one shots all the time. Um uh, but this you, adventure you might is wanna, like, alone. You might want to give hints to the who during character building that you you shouldn't build a character with no range capability. <laughs> I, I made a bow and arrow. Yeah, that I I. <laughs> That's more so on me though. I've taken the L for that one. That's oh, me. but yeah. You your dice were just your dice were so against you, <laughs> Charles. That was nuts. Yeah. I've, you rolled. I don't think you rolled a successful hit except for like once against the Bone Devil, which was really sad because you had these cool flame hammers from your plasma gauntlets. I really wanted to do some cool descriptors for that, but you just couldn't hit a fuck thing. I was like... <laughs> my damage could have been better, too, because I wasn't I, using Piercer. I enjoyed yeah. my um, my antimatter rifle. Yeah, that, that is, thing is that pretty thing is nuts. Massive, uh... Pretty busted. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's why everyone else's damage is balanced around that thing. Because it just does so much, so everyone else basically does double damage. I can do three attacks. You can't. That, yeah, it was, you know, those mistakes happen. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Uh, no, no, that's why no, I had I, fun I at had, the end. I had way too much so. fun this session. Oh, my God. Like, the cl the climax. Oh, my gosh. I Oh, my, this is so much fun. I do something stupid, low, I stay inside, go back to shit. <laughs> I think it's so funny that your character's like, I'll die for this food. And then he's just like, I'll fucking die. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> uh, I can happen at any moment. I feel my spirit leaving me. <laughs> I, I I think I'm a pretty good commander. What do you guys think, team? Yeah, I think so. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no one hey, died. Charles. No one yeah, actually Charles. died, yeah. Thank you so much for proving me wrong that you could restrain an ancient <laughs> dragon. <laughs> <laughs> that actually that cool. it bought you guys another turn, so. That was so cool. Uh, That's, that was nice. Yeah. Pretty much, for me, the... Fucking act. Pretty much everything that I did... Eat, useful was in the third act <laughs> or the final <laughs> act <laughs> i again i i love you guys for playing with me thank you for spending your evening with me tonight um thank you after the session if if you don't mind what helps me the most is if you guys leave a review for other players to see give your honest opinions so that they know what they're getting with me that really it it helps a lot so uh other than that I have a new campaign starting this Wednesday, if any of you are interested in that. It's it's basically vampires versus werewolves in the woods out of a hunt, bounty hunting lodge. If any of you are interested in that, it's starting at level one. So we're going whole hog on that one. Uh, are you playing a that, vampire or a werewolf? I'm the DM. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant like I'm the characters. Are the characters. 
They can be, uh, but I'm a mummy. They're starting level gonna... one, so. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Probably play another awakened bush, honestly. That's so it's weird. An awakened zombie. Bush. That's <laughs> it's like my favorite race. I looks love like a, it looks like so a, much. Looks like a dead shrub. Thank you. They get it. They, the, there is so much appeal to playing a brave, powerful, awakened bush. I don't get it, but I'm really glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, lastly, thanks again. Hopefully, I'll see you, you guys again. Thank you. Hell yeah. You all have a yeah, good well, night. You will. Oh my gosh, you're gonna you're stealing my money now. I hate you. <laughs> I love you though. Damn I love you. you so much. This is such a great session. Taking oh. my fucking money. I'm glad you liked it. I am going to get the recording up on YouTube as soon as I can, and then you'll be able to I'll post the link here so you can watch it anytime you want. How about like the resources? Um are we gonna get like any of the foundry resources? Or is that all yours? What do you mean? Like, okay, so I think you said like you were gonna like give us the re resources or something at some point like involving like the campaign and stuff the you mean the recording or i'm not sure what you mean resources i i might have misread what you like said in like the post for the campaign so you have access to my D, &D books when you make a character for this one shot right uh but i can't like give those to you after like that okay. i can't do that okay that that makes sense that, that that's fair I spent like 600 bucks on that. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, a lot. Yeah. Uh, I'm, you know, I, uh, if you, like, if you will need to in the future use a campaign that I'm sharing to, like, build a character because you want to try something out, we can talk about that. But I can't, like, give you my foundry stuff. I don't That, that... is fair. <laughs> Understood. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry if that was a misunderstanding. I didn't mean to say no. That, no, I would, no, I would. I would be astonished if you just gave it all for free. I'm like, what? No, there's no way he means that. Okay, I can let you use it. I can. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yep. Recording will go up, and I will see you guys next time. I hope. Hell yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye. See ya.